Ugh. Ah. Ugh. Oh, oh gosh. I fell asleep. I miss Santa. Ugh. Did he already show up? Yeah. Yeah, oh. what? All the presents are here. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. He must have covered me up. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> like Why did Santa. he say thank you, Santa, to himself? I don't know. Maybe he just really thought it was a high-quality blanket. It's, it's fuzzy and really comfy. Ooh. That's it. Like that sock <laughs> behind you. That's a nice sock that he gave you, too. Right? <laughs> or is that Rick's sock? That's Rick's sock. Mine. <clears throat> Happy holidays. Merry yeah. Christmas, everybody. It's we are here to have our Christmas mailbag time, which... It's, there's a lot. Yeah, there's quite a bit. Quite a bit. You can't even see all of them over there, and there's some more over there, and a mm -hmm. big one over there, Ooh. and some tiny ones down here. Ooh. And they all have our names and stuff on them, so let's start opening. Let's start. Who goes first? Aaron. It has your name on it. From Kristen. Yeah. Bag of dicks. Bag, Bag of, of dicks. dicks. Bag of dicks. Bag How'd you know? That's not, that's not a dick. Wobbly sausage! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, is this kidding. another meme thing I don't yes. get? Yes! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Aaron. Oh, oh it's a, that's cool. Merry Christmas, it's Aaron! It's a Christmas star! Oh. He got hat. That's nice. Thank you so that's, much, Kristen. That's very nice. That's, nice. that's okay. pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah. it go well with my other little Boba sword here. He has a Christmas tree on his back. Uh, Merry Christmas. Enjoy your Christmas Pokemon plush from Kristen. Thank you so much, Kristen. Pokemon. Are you showing his butt? I'm covering his butt hole. He has a little hanging. Oh, yeah, we'll take that off. Or, or hang him on the tree. All right, who's next? Calvin? Um, or someone? Pick one, Calvin. I'm looking for Find for names. Me. This oh, yeah, one says yeah, Blind yeah. Wave. I got a Blind Wave. This one, one says Rick. Says Rick, we can save that for next time. Give that to Rick. Got a bunch of blind waves. This one says here. blind wave. Just hand uh, here, Calvin. Open a blind wave. Open a blind wave. Open a blind wave. All right. This is from <laughs> Santa. <gasps> Thank you, Santa. We have Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, spelled with an S. <coughs> Cyber, I mean. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Squad's always spelled with an S. So it's Superhuman Samurai. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, like there's a lot of S's. VR Troopers. VR Troopers. Did you guys ever see VR Troopers? Saban's VR Troopers. V Remember the V R Troopers. No. V R. Yeah. I think it only had one. Check them out. Ooh, Saban's Beetleborgs. Big, that I have seen. Bad and Toei no Japanese Spider-Man series. No, so but my kids will be happy for this. <laughs> we watched... Okay, so we've been on a Spider-Man thing. We've been watching animated Spider-Man. Sweet. And I was like, well, this stuff's great. But did, have you guys ever heard of Japanese Spider-Man? And they're like, what? And we watched the first episode, mm -hmm. which one, made no sense. <laughs> and two, is just ridiculous. Yeah. I think it's the did time they, revenge has come. Did they enjoy it? The first episode. Um, yeah, we they didn't want to watch any more. <laughs> the complete 1970s. They were fully satisfied, you mean? Yes. Okay. But I think it might be fun to go through and watch one of these mm. or more of these and be like, all right, guys, let's see what else happens in Japanese Spider-Man. That's cool. Like it's it's got like space stuff. <laughs> I love you how know? you can clearly see that it's a suit and it's not futuristic at all. It's like stretched from the head down yeah. to the shoulders. You can see his lips. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he would climb on walls and do weird stuff, and it didn't make any sense of how he either beat or avoided enemies. And he has his own, like, Megazord. <laughs> of course he does. Is it a spider? Uh, no, it's not. What? It's not a spider. What it's is just, it? It's a big robot. Oh. He has a car. Spider car? Yeah, car. Does it have legs? No. Nope. No. And he, like, morphs with, like, a, like a little wrist thing that kind of, like, helps him control his does spider Does the wrist things powers. go around your wrist as if they're spider legs? No. Nope. It's just a bracelet. Have you never seen it? On branding. No. It's it's. We should watch the first episode sometime, just to watch it. He's like how about, He's how about a, a brand. Well, well we're not doing anything now. Let's do it now. Makes more sense. We're opening stuff. What? Oh, okay. How about an episode that makes more sense? I don't know if there is one. <laughs> this is to me from a ways. A ways. A ways. Hello. A ways. A ways. In a bag. A ways. In a box. Box in a bag. Hey Rick, just thought I saw something that I thought would. Rick would like. I hope you are feeling better, man. We're all with you from a ways. MG. Huh. 
Ooh. X-Men? Oh, sisters. sisters. I saw it too. Yeah, but, I saw on the back. Uh, I saw X Men. I don't know what the front is. Brooklyn Nine Nine coasters. Oh, oh, that's. I'm a detective. I will detect. Mm -hmm. I feel like the Paris of people. Mm -hmm. You can have that one, Eric. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> you are not cheddar. You are just some common bitch. <laughs> you're not cheddar. You're just some. Common Love. Bitch. It sustains you. It's like oatmeal. Mm. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. What kind of woman doesn't have an axe? Yeah, that's like it's a pretty good one. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, those are all good. Yeah, these are great. Yeah, I love them. Put that, put that one on the bottom. The Gina one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's Gina another Gina clear. one that's better, right? Wasn't that? Oh, or was that Rosie? Rose. No, that was Rosie. Rose. Oh god, makes more sense. Yeah. Even I know that. Is that why it's better? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no Hitchcock and Scully. Yeah. But we do have Cheddar. Yeah. Well, and, and no. Uh, I remember the, like Santiago. I would like to have a Santiago one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's no Boyle either. No, nope. there's no Terry. Yeah. No, no. Uh, Terry's at the top. Oh, was Terry yeah. one of them? Yeah, he was the first one. The oh, I'm a detective. I will detect. Okay, yeah. cool. Good. Very cool. Awesome. That's Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank always. Always protect That's many cool. surfaces from <clears throat> water rigs. There's a blind whale. That's empty. Yeah, it's blue. No, I think it's just in. It's a sweater. This is from Kristen. Inside this tissue paper is a box. A box? <gasps> a box? Oh. oh. It it's is a, a Highland Crest Legend of Zelda bound mm -hmm. uh, little diary. It's a little journal. Journal. Thing. Very, yes. very, very it's got cool. the rings so you can add yes. more. And take away. Awesome. How are you going to find more paper like that? It's pretty sweet. You make it. Yeah. You, make it. you make it. I have trees. You can cut down a tree and make paper? You haven't made paper? You ever you made, made paper? paper in school. No, we didn't. Dead. No, we didn't. We farmed no, paper. We didn't. Dead. didn't. Same day you tried to stab everyone else with the scissors. Hmm. Yep. I didn't. You're just making up stories for sure. I know no, it's a lie. That's a real story. I'm going to put it in my journal. What? No! It lies! Stabbed oh, children no. with scissors. You wrote his name and now he's dead. <laughs> Delete. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is cool. Oh. Hmm. I guess I'll open this one from Santa. Oh, wait, there's one for you, though. This is, that is, this is. Oh, That's the good. one. From Santa. I, like, I got it go? from there. Whoosh. Ooh. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hmm. Another one of the mangas. Cool. Why is it so thin? It's only the volume seven. Oh. That is like the perfect bathroom manga. It's, yeah. it's a really good size. Good. I could Sit actually down, read and finish this Get one. through that. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you so much, Santa. Thank you, Santa. I don't know who it's from otherwise. Nice. Cool. <clears throat> Aha! Yata! Calvin, open that. Ah. Uh, What's huh. this? Yeah. Blandry. From Katie? From Katya. 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 Uh, Merry Christmas, Blind Wave. I hope you enjoyed the holidays, and I hope you enjoyed my gift to all of you guys, and you use it for your next Naruto reaction. Merry Christmas, from Katya. Naruto. Okay. Okay. I was told Kali. no knives were needed. Emergency knife. However. Shh. Shh. Ah. <gasps> Kakashi Hatake. Kakashi. And it has a puppy. With Hakun! Oh, Isn't that cool? That's neat. Nice. Like the it. smoking dog. Mm -hmm. What? That's what he's called? It went this mm -hmm. way, Naruto. Yeah. Oh, he sounds like a voice? smoker. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, man, that's, I didn't know that. If we don't get there soon. That's why he, sometimes he reminds me of, like, uh, Shredder. <laughs> he kind of has that <laughs> Shredderish voice. Yeah. Turtles. Yeah. Thank turtle. you, Katya. Katya, thank you. <clears throat> nice. Kukashi. No. <laughs> uh, all right, Rick. I will open this one. Oh, yes. To the blind wave from the Santa. <laughs> more Pokemon Whoa. Sun and Moon. That's, uh, more that's Pokemon. so many more. Hey. One through eight. <coughs> wow. Uh, that's a ton. Uh. So we have seven. One and through eight. One through eight. One through eight of Sun and Moon. Oh, Sun and Moon. Mm -hmm. Sun and Moon. The last one was Sword and Shield. shield. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Wow. Thank yeah. you so much. That's so many manga. Right so no. many toilets. What? That's from Trips. Y yeah. 
toilets. Only my toilets. Toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go take a toilet. Did this guy get hurt or what? Is it a web? He has like a web. He already arm. has powers. Webs. No, he's just hiding his Mega Buster. Yeah, I know. It kind of looks like a Mega Buster too. Sweet. You should know though. You played these games. You should know. Yeah, the, the games are different than the the, the the manga and the anime. Put these over here. That's weird. Don't get it mixed. No. You got your sun and moon and my sword and shield. You saying the games yeah. don't have enough story to support a manga series? What? No, they're just different stories. Mm. But with similar people. <gasps> wow. I thought we were gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I only used my fingertips. Okay. This is to me from Josh. Josh. Uh, it's a Black Series figure. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Is it Darth? Malgus. Oh, it's Malgus? Yeah, yes. look at Malgus. Oh, I see it now. Okay, yeah. Very cool. When I first saw him, I'm like, is that. I was like, Revan, no, Malik maybe? And yeah, then it looked like a mask. Like gaming like a Greats mask. line of Black Series. I don't think I have this one. Would you call him a Gaming no. Great? I would say Malgus, Malgus is a Gaming is Great. Malgus is great. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. I, and he also uh, has a, uh, a book that I read. Like, he's such a cool good. character. He, he came into Star Wars The Old Republic. Mm -hmm. He was like the final raid boss that was in the main game. Mm -hmm. And he's so good, they brought him back later. <laughs> like, he's one of those kind of different Finally, guys. Yes. We yeah. have returned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's great. Merry Christmas, Eric. Not sure if you have this guy, but even if you do, everyone needs a little more of Malgus. One of the best Sith Lords in history. Mm. What are some of your favorite Sith moments in the franchise? From Josh Williams. Hmm. Favorite Sith moments in the franchise. Well, um, one of them is from Malgus in his book, where uh, in one of those Old Republic trailers, he's with a Twi'lek Twi uh, woman that's actually one of his companions. And he learns in that book that companionship is making him weaker. So he kills her! <laughs> I always thought it was a really great moment. Obviously, I mean, there's a lot more prose. It's dark. Uh, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, he goes through her a little bit, as you know, more than my retelling. <laughs> but it's a really good Sith moment. And one that I will reflect this holiday season. What? Uh, I'll reflect on. What? I won't sure do it. You weak. Okay, good. Don't do it. <laughs> but this is really cool. Thank you. And thank you, Hasbro, for not putting a plastic window in so I can't see the figure anymore. There's a picture. You can look at the picture. Yeah, I know. Where you can look at picture online. Yep. So now you understand Zeus! Hey, I've always been on your side with Zeus. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir. Yeah, gotta just look at this online. Now, if I could touch the, the rhino. If I could ride the rhino. If I could ride the rhino. If I could run from the rhino. There's some excitement there. <laughs> but Zeus does so much more important work than just you looking at animals. I mean, that's good, too. But I can also just, like, <laughs> just make a bunch of videos and I can watch those and do that. You're right. You're right. What if I could, like, drive in some sort of car with a roll cage and the rhino could knock me over? Dude, yes, That's right. Jurassic right Park. into the river. Jurassic World, right? <laughs> now there's some excitement. Exactly. All right, this is from Josh. A car changes into a boat. Shh. That could happen. Ooh. The <laughs> what an interesting Christmas gift. Halloween 2. <laughs> <laughs> Which Halloween 2, though? Um, it looks like... I'm going to say it's Halloween 2, like 2-2, two -two, not... Nine two? Is that how many it would be? I forget. I'm confused. Happy holidays, Aaron. Here's a spooky gift from one horror fan to another. Michael Myers is one of the scariest villains ever. <clears throat> and I think you'd appreciate having him on your shelf or desk. Merry Christmas from Josh Williams. That's a sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. It has the, the crying blood eyes. Doubles as a Captain Kirk figure. Mm -hmm. Uh a little bit, kinda. No, this is great. It's interesting to get for Christmas. What weapon does he have? Is that a hammer? Uh, there's hammer, a hammer, knife, there's a knife, there's syringe. a syringe. Like Ooh, syringe. There you go, Aaron. And a scalpel. Perfect. Dude, so and his hands. Eric, did you see the first Halloween movie or no? Yeah, have you seen any Halloween movie? You haven't seen any Halloween movies? Why don't we watch those for Halloween? Damn. I, I tried. <laughs> Why'd you do those ones? There's too many good horror movies we got to watch. So many good ones. Yeah. There's some bad ones, too. Huh? There's some bad ones, too. But the, the fun, the fun we had along the way. Some bad bands too. Uh, we can skip that. 
Huh. That's great. I love that. Yep. Thank you, Josh. That's quite cool. It kind of looks like a Mego figure. figure. The style of it. It's cool. I've actually just been going through more horror stuff recently because I found a, uh, a new YouTube channel that does kill counts and kind of talks about the movies and all the kills that happen. What's the name of the channel? It's called Dead Meat. <sighs> well, Dead Meat, Merry Christmas for the shout out. <laughs> Cut that out. No! <laughs> <laughs> it has reminded me about good and bad of horror, which has been great. Ah, uh, yes. That's Q. Dang. Happy holidays, Calvin, from one Avatar fan to another. Here's hoping you enjoy this fantastic Aang figure. Are you excited for the new animated specials that are gonna get that we're gonna get soon? Yes, so much. I can't wait. Uh, I know I am. From Josh Williams. Thank you so much, Josh. Now you should do this next year for Halloween. Mm. It should be Ong. No, I can't copy you this year. How's the Ghostbuster? Oh, Chuck, show me, show me the figure. <laughs> Hi, hair. I like it. It's the uh, the face sculpt is, is like. Kind of in a cartoon style, mm -hmm. so he's like smiling. Yeah, really cool. It's great. It's got the air ball, got the staff. It's really awesome. Air ball! <laughs> Very cool. Hey, got Hey, you know how in The Legend of Korra they talk about how the airbenders would shave their heads so they can like feel what direction the wind's coming in? Okay. I always thought, well, what if you just had long hair and you could, just see, you could see it too? Mm. You can't see behind you. I mean, that's where your hair is. Where's your hair? What? Are, you, you should just go naked. <laughs> so naked? Yeah. Uh, I beat you to it, didn't I? Feel the wind everywhere. <laughs> true. But hey, I can feel lots of stuff with less hair. Like when I get like, it should be like skate. short, right? I don't know. And they should. I always like, thought it'd be cool to have like a like Zahir before he cut his hair. You know, the fat ass, like long hair, long beard, air guy. Sure. His beard around. I think it looks cool, but I don't know if you can feel more wind or anything or see the wind. Well, I mean, you might be able to feel it, but you can see it. I can definitely like, feel like a wind sock, you know? On my face. Rick, you have long hair, right? Yeah. When it blows, can you see your hair blowing in the wind? Um, it depends which direction it's blowing. <laughs> well, it's, if it's blowing that way, I guess, right? You like, <laughs> well, there it is. If it's blowing that way or if it's like to the sides. And if it's not, neither of those, I know it's to the back. Well, you can see it if it's blowing this way? It's pretty long. Okay. See? That's both <laughs> me trying to be right and a pun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next, Rick? Ah. Yeah. Blind wave from Santa. Santa. Pokemon Ooh. Adventures X and Y Ooh. for four. Dude, we're going to have like a whole manga collection. Number. It's Five. A, it's a lot. Because we've got quite a few already mm -hmm. of Six. some of the older ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one. That's not uh, how you count. And. Oh, there's two more. Two and three. Hey. Okay. I know uh, a lot two, of these trainers three. that I'm seeing because of my limited run reaction series on Pokemality. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. I know a lot of these Pokemon because I took pictures of them in Pokemon Snap. Oh. Nice. Fucking Professor Oak was always like, it's so so. Like, what? It's perfect. You don't recognize art, Professor. Yeah. Is that what it was? Was yeah. it art? He always called myself so so. Yeah, you could have done better. No. <laughs> He's a machine. He doesn't know. Killing. He didn't say it was bad. Yeah, he did. He said it was so so. He just said you could have done better, Eric. He gave it a five. When do you ever call anything so so that's not bad? So so is like, yeah, it's good. You sound it's like bad. people exactly. in the comments of our ranking videos. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Whoa, they have like wind suits. Look at them. Whoa. They're yeah, like, they do. It's really cool. You guys don't get to see. Thank you so much. It's fly. That's what they need the wind suits for. Mm -hmm. No, they use fly, Calvin. Fly. Fly, you fools. Uh, Eric. I support that reference. This is blind away from Kristen. <gasps> hmm? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna guess maybe a ornament or something. Mug? Maybe a mug. Could I be think, a mug. I think it's a mug. Toilet mug. Nice. Toilet Slay mug. mug. Toilet mug. What? A sleigh. Slay? Slay mug. I think it's a present mug. Tree. A Lego? What is that? I don't know. Uh, he's but broken. inside are four 
Nativity ornaments. ornament lanterns. There's one. Okay. There's another. And this one is more uh, just winter forest themed. Reindeer. This one is more snowman. outdoor evergreen snowman. It's like painted on the glass. Yeah. And this one is old jolly Saint Nick. Santa. That's yeah, have Santa Claus. Raccoon. Crispy Kringle. That raccoon. Crispy Kringle? Yeah. Awesome. They uh, they also all have on the bottom Lights. looks like yeah. You gotta pull the tab though. Ooh, oh my gosh, these up. are so cool. Wow. We can put them on that up behind you. We're good. Yeah, let's go ahead and just set them in the back. Show them on the camera and then or put them up the there. Tree, I suppose. They uh, you have to shut them off to show them on camera. Otherwise, they uh, they glow too well. I gotta look pretty cool. Do, 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 Thank you, do, do, Kristen. Do. Thank you, Kristen. <laughs> no, Calvin, what if they fall? Da! No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were concerned about the ornaments. <laughs> well, and I, also, I not only were batteries included, but we have like a lifetime supply yeah. of extra batteries. Is that what the green thing was? Yeah. Oh, cool. That's cool. Very Thank cool. you, Santa. I mean, Kristen. <laughs> I, I was wondering what it was. I was like, is that a Lego? Yeah. I couldn't tell what it was. Awesome. Very, awesome, very awesome. cool and fancy. Thank you so much. Festive. Thank you. Where's the fourth one? Oh, down there. Yeah. Put them <laughs> all <laughs> on the right side of the tree. Well, I can't reach the left side very well. Okay. That's good. Thank you, Calvin. Thank you, Kristen. Ugh. What's this? Oh, this one says Eric. Ugh. Hmm. Door County Living. Oh, the joy of winter. Whoa. Reinventing tap. I assume that means tap dance. Was Ryan Whittleson here was just reorganizing my collection of DVDs and Blu-rays and found a few duplicates to some classic Doctor Who. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, thanks to the new Blu-ray releases. Uh, so I decided to gift them to you guys. This isn't a hint to do classic reactions, but I figured Aaron or Calvin might like them. Looking forward to Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. Been a fun, uh, been a fan of the show since I was a child in the 1980s. Mm. Watching Doctor PBS. Who? Watching PBS yeah. on my yes. black and white TV in my Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, black and white TV in my bedroom. Included is the first three Doctor stories. So here's this one. Ghost Light from 87. Jeez. New Beginning, The Keeper of Tracking, Lago uh, Lagopolis. Oh. Which was referenced in the Keeper 60th anniversary. And Castrovalva. Yeah. With Tom Baker and Peter Davison. Yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> um, a ra wrapped second doctor story here must be just in half uh, since so many were thrown out in the 70s some second doctor stories were animated using audio from the recorded uh, recorded files from TV it's still it's still wrapped as I accidentally got two of them the first uh, multiple doctor adventure the Three Doctors, seven Fourth Doctor stories, including Shada, an unfinished story that was animated and released a few years back. Two Fifth Doctor stories and two Seventh Doctor stories. Wow. Nice. Uh, since Doctor Who is my favorite all-time TV show, followed by High Highlanders the series. Is that Highlander good? Highlander the series. Is that good? Is that Highlander the series? Ah. It's his favorite, Rick. Airwolf. You said eh. I don't know what Airwolf is. Smallville. Yay. And Battlestar Galactica, which I really want to watch. What are your all-time favorite TV shows? Favorite. Uh, all-time. Uh, I'm going to go with one of mine, which is Lost. One of my favorite all-time TV shows. Uh. The 90s animated Spider-Man. Mm. It's 
probably one of my favorite TV shows. Just eh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Why are you gonna be like Rick, huh? <laughs> oh, I know Shaw has his moments. Um, a lot of Baker in here. I'm trying to have any other like favorite mm -hmm. TV shows, but that's one of the first ones come to mind. But I'm also yeah. like been doing a lot of Spider-Man lately too. Mm. So I have not seen. Do this you have one. a favorite TV show, Rick? Is it Berserk? All time. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's tough. It's all right. <laughs> I also quite like Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> Favorite all time? <clears throat> but what's the magazine for? I don't know. Uh, Quite like Expanse. That's Expanse good. Expanse is yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Psych. Psych's definitely one of my favorite all time. Psych's like, crazy. there's difference between like what's good and what do I just enjoy watching. And Psych's one that I can just rewatch and I still fun. Like, I've watched it like three times, and I don't rewatch a lot of stuff. Typically, I watch it once and I'm like, eh. All right, I've seen it now, I'm done. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I either don't rewatch it and then regret having watched it in the first place, or I watch it over and over again forever. You don't rewatch it and regret, regret? So you either watch it all the time or you never watch it again? Yep. I usually never watch anything ever again, even things I like, which is weird. Except Star Wars. Star Wars is the one thing that I like. I just watch all the time. Clone Wars is great. Rebels. It is great. Rebels might be better for me, though. I'm sorry about the handwriting. I injured my wrist at work a few weeks ago, and it still acts up, such as when I write. Also, my printer is broken, so mm. I couldn't print a note. Well, thank you very much, Ryan Whittleson. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate yeah. all Ryan. the Doctor Who So classic. much, Ryan. And for this magazine. Doctor Who. Whose purpose I will crack. We'll cover some Highlander on the channel at some point. Benton. Surely. Alien Force. Oh, Doctor Who, classic. <laughs> Sorry, I had no idea where you were going with that. You're just naming shows that we react to, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Who, classic. Which we will be getting to the uh, Doctor Who Christmas special uh, when we come back from our Christmas break. Yes. So look to that in January. See, even Star Wars is excited about that. Yes. <laughs> look to the East. Yeah, there's... there's uh, I wouldn't mind watching some of that. I There's definitely some of those that I... I is good. That is good? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I haven't seen Meglos. I would hate if he sent stuff that was just terrible. <laughs> no, no. I mean, there's, me. a, there's a couple of them in there that are, like, sad. <coughs> no, but... yeah, sure. All right, Calvin. Me? Yeah. I will do this one. He's so tiny. <laughs> there are no small parts, only small actors. Isn't that the same? Um... Yeah, something like that. Is it an ornament? It is. It's a CD ROMs. Uh, it's Common Rider. Yeah. On DVD. Common Rider Dragon Knight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Well, thank you so much to Santa. Santa. To Santa. <laughs> From Blind Way. <laughs> no, thank you to Santa. <laughs> thank you, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. I figured these have to be from the same person who gave us all all the other common writer stuff. Ones, right? Dang. This is just some of the rarer ones. I forget the name. That are harder to find. Yeah, right. Does anybody get presents for Santa? And Mrs. Claus. You think it's just Mrs. Mrs. Claus? Uh, what should give him? No, no. The head elf. <laughs> you give him cookies. Man, they have an elf for that? <laughs> I knew you were going to say some shit. <laughs> Well, it was just set up from Master has Eric given was like, Toby a only sock. Mrs. Claus? What did she give him? And you're like, head elf. <laughs> no, the head elf gives Santa <laughs> presents. Oh, okay, I see. Also, every I thought kid that was who's the good leaves cookies and milk out. Yeah, and that That's keeps him plump for a yeah, year. For Don't get me wrong, I love cookies and milk, I mean, but if, if I ran downstairs to the Christmas you, tree you and all those calories, and milk, I'd be kind of like, well, this is cool, but also. Where's my yearly N64 game? <laughs> the thing. You know <laughs> shit. Kanan, Kanan made a Christmas list. Do you want to know yeah. what was like one or two on his list? What? A pack of Oreos. Really? Yes. That's what he wanted. I, his own pack of Oreos. Eric, do you want a pack of Oreos for Christmas? <laughs> no. Fuck, fuck yeah, you. But you fucking late. Santa, so you'd have much more ambitious gift dreams. Santa is cursed. He can make anything he wants. Yeah. Except cookies. Damn. Yeah, he's got a toy shop, not a cookie shop. Who limited Eric. his magic? <laughs> Eric, I thought you were 
<laughs> you were saying like, no, you should have much more ambitious goals for gifts. <laughs> like two packs of cookies. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait until like Kanan wakes up in the morning, goes out and opens up. Oreos! <laughs> I'm going to film it just for you. Like, look at this, you know shit? I would love to watch it. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Rick's turn. Rick's turn. I thought I saw one that said somewhere. We'll get there. Find way from Christian. Christian? Kristen. Christian. Kristen. I'm confusing me because I know what that quote is. There are Christians and Christians. Oh, and Christians. Christian Abasarawa. Yeah, that one too. Ah, yes. Oh. A little plushy. Ah. Is that from Yu Yu? It is. Aha! I know characters from Yu Yu without seeing it. I'm so. Ahead of my time. There's also, it has a Yu Yu Hakusho tag on it. I didn't see that part yet. Well, I don't believe you yeah, because I saw mic. it. Yes. Just imagine. I love it. What? Is he kicking people? No. Ah! You're reliving some trauma, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Enjoy your Yu Yu Hakusho from Kristen. Are Is... these ornaments? No. Or are they just meant to hang from... No, no they're just plushy. conspicuous places like the rear of your mirror. People don't make plushy ornaments, do they? Sure they do. I guess we had those cords that were ornaments, right? Yeah. I think we got rid of them. <laughs> this is a plushy ornament. No! That's a keychain! It just looks neat. Who would have that on their keys? Cord right there. Dang it. You guys snuck him on there. I thought I took him all off. <laughs> Dude, he's Very doing nice. like a like a uh, jutsu. I'm missing a guy though. I know there's another uh, guy. Yeah, there's Try. four of them, and they're one that wears a uh, red. A pompadour. Blue. Blue. No! It was not in this box. My finger slipped. Very cool. Thank you. He was kidnapped, and they've gone to rescue him. All right, this is from Steven. Steven! Steven, can you tell me to shut the fuck up or something? What? There is a Super Sentai tin disc collection. Whoa. In this, like, really cool throwback blister pack. VHS blister pack. Whoa! <laughs> It does look like VHS. Yeah, it? I had Disney the library. I had Disney movies in yeah, a thing like for that. For sure is. You know? We also got Super Sentai, two more collections here, and Kamen Rider Black RX. Wow. You can see the originals. Yeah. It's a, it's on a 28-day loan. <laughs> no, no longer property of oh. and nope. King County. <laughs> Man, I see. I want to see if yeah. it has anything that resembles. It's in, it's in Japanese. <laughs> it does, Aaron. It that does. That resemble. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh my gosh. It's straight up Power Rangers. Yeah. These are the originals. Hey, you. I recognize that girl. <laughs> right there. Is, is it, it Scor the... Is it Scorpina? Yeah. Take the plastic. I think so. All right. I'm going to read this note. Happy holidays, Blind Wave. These last few packages should make your Kamen Rider and Super Sentai disc collections up to date. What? Wow. So, next year, I should send in all the relatively new stuff for all three shows if North American distributors decide to release anything in DVD or Blu-ray format. If not, it will probably be just the latest Kamen Rider and Sentai imports if there are no physical releases domestically besides Ultraman because I think you can tell from last mailbag that Ultraman has released the most amount of content in the USA in an official yeah. capacity from 2019 yeah. to now with 54 years of content in a 57-year legacy compared to the other two shows that get one or two Blu-rays a year Starting from 2022 by Kamen Rider with the 52 year legacy. In the best case scenario, a few DVDs each year from Super Sentai with 48 year legacy. These it's gonna take us 52 years to watch show. all that. I know. Uh, that started releasing in 2015 in the USA, which is why I had to get these large and small import packages for the more modern shows in those franchises from other countries to keep up to date with physical releases. 
Maybe, eventually, Toei will see the value of allowing North American distributors full access to their library of Sentai and Kamen Rider in the same way that Suba Raya Productions did with Ultraman. Ultraman. To allow people more access to the content since they plan on pushing for more global distribution in the future. Hopefully, it works and more fans will watch and buy the shows legally and faster in their home countries. Is Eric enjoying the Pokemon manga? With arcs, which arcs did he enjoy, and which characters are his favorite from each arc? I have not yet begun to even start the Pokemon manga, but with all the holes that have been filled, uh, even just in this mailbag, I am super, super tempted too because it's pretty, pretty cool. Maybe with Aaron in this new year, starting with his kids, the Pokemon anime series, maybe I'll follow along. But in the manga. That'd be interesting. That'd be kind of cool. Compare like what happens to the yeah. stories and stuff too. The manga, I has, wonder if like they're red. more similar. Yeah, no, I don't believe so. I think they're a completely different story, like following Red, not Ash. Yeah, right? sure. Yeah, because they started with Red and Green and Blue. I hope Aaron starts reading it over break to see why so many Pokemon fans would want an anime adaptation of the manga. Mm. Uh, I'm hoping for a review of the manga on Pokemon next year because you now possess all. The current release. We have all of it now? Wow. I hope to see a Japanese Spider-Man reaction <laughs> next year as well, because really? that You're show is severely underrated. Under, well, and he should make a Spider-Verse appearance in the movies in the future, since he already did in the comics. That would be something. I also got you guys the only two American adaptations of Kamen Rider shows that did, that did not gain enough traction to warrant further expansion like the Power Rangers franchise. Both Western and Asian audiences universally criticize Max Rider. Still can't believe it aired 40 episodes in one season, and then canceled given how subpar it was even by 90s TV standards. Huh. Still, Dragon Knight gained a lot of interest in Japan, and failed in the but failed in the USA. Enjoy the VR Troopers and Beetleborg's disc, a couple of Ameritoku productions that did much better, and actually being adaptations that sustained audience appeal, even after they finished. The Grindman adaptation, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, oh. which has, I recommend watching up to episode 37, because the overarching story essentially ends there. Man, what a 90s show that, in hindsight, after watching it, is still better than Masked Rider, but the bar was set so low that it's very uncommon <laughs> to compete for how much of a disappointment that show was. For Power Rangers, I would have to say that Samurai and Megaforce seasons, and in Ultraman's case, it would be Ultraman Toward the Future and Ultraman Powered, are the weakest adaptations from each franchise. The next few pages just have the order of this mailbag's items, so you know that I sent, you know what I sent in, and a data graph of how much. Original footage is in each Power Rangers season. That's oh, crazy. Thank neat. you for another great year. I hope Aaron catches up on Power Rangers and the Pokemon manga over winter break. And have a terrific month. Over winter break? Have a terrific month of December. Sincerely, Steven. Takes me a month to listen to a book. So yeah, we have all of the, <laughs> the list here of all these things. And we also have a graph of Pokemon. Yeah, I'm sorry, of uh, Power, Power Rangers, Rangers original footage. That's cool. This data will be available at Bala.com for you to disseminate amongst your family at Christmas. Finally, you and your uncle have something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. <coughs> Thank you very much. So there's that one. Yes. Oh. Ooh. And there's also this one. I'll do this one. Aaron. Aaron from Krim. 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 Trent. Krim. What is there? Enjoy oh. your Bebo sweater. <gasps> yes! Remember, Bebo loves you. Hail Bebo. Hail Krim. Bebo. Yay, Aaron, and it's long sleeve. Bebo day! It looks pretty. Every day is Bebo day. Every day is Bebo day. Should open the other one. <laughs> there it is. Here coming. Yes. Thing. Bebo day! <sighs> Bebo hungry! It hungers for battle! Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, there you go, Aaron. Thank you, Krem. Merry Thank Christmas. You, Krim. Calvin's turn. Should I just do a blind wave? 
blind wave. Do a blind wave. Do the blind wave. Do 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 do. I don't know what the I don't know what the move would be. What's a blind wave move? I guess just yeah. That's what it is. It's not a fun dance. No. Nope. I want to do it every time I drive by your house, but I don't want your neighbor no, to think I'm being friendly you with you. Turn him. away from the wave. <laughs> so it's like honk, honk, wave. Honk, honk, wave. No, wait, you guys are over there. Oh, wait, you, what are you talking about? <laughs> wait over there. And then you guys go, who's he waving at? What a weird guy. Wait, what are you doing over there? I'm so confused. A gift for you. You get two performances from two different casts in one collection. Ooh. Hope all is well and happy holidays from Mr. Courier. Mr. Courier, what is it? We have Spirited Away oh. live on stage. Neat. Live on stage. Oh. That's great. And, and there's two, two different casts. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thank you, Mr. Courier. That's cool. We probably can't react to it because probably not. they don't like anything. They don't. <laughs> yeah. I'll watch this. This looks great. Awesome. Yeah. It does look great. Adapted and directed by Tony Award winner John Carid Les Miserables. Neat. Very cool. Thank you so much, Mr. Carrier. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Two blonde wave from Joseph Ursolano. Erilano. Erilano. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Joseph. Joseph. Thank you, Joe. No, he might not like that name. If he did, he would Seth. Joe. Joseph Joe. Huh. Mm. Uh, Mask Rider. Oh, this is the, the stronger one. With an S. Uh, Chapters 1 through 39 in. What'd you say? He's stronger with an S? How else do you spell it? It's got a motorcycle. It's like Freddy with an eye. I'm like, okay. I <laughs> a big goofy smile. Yep. <laughs> wow, yeah. That's a, that is that is a smile. <laughs> one, do you think it's meant Absolutely. to be a smiley mouth or is no, it? No, I think it's meant to be like a nose. Right? It looks like, like like a real big crazy yeah. smile. <laughs> He's just happy to be here. Alright. Show the back, huh. Calvin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Joseph. Thank you, Joseph. Joseph. Thank you, Joseph. You know, in the nativity story, Joseph got a present for Christmas he wasn't expecting. But Mary was. <laughs> well, yeah. Mary was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is from Santa. And guess what? Mass Rider. Ah, oh, this yeah. is the one that was not, like, well the received. The canceled one? Right? Yeah, and this yes. one says cartoon intros number one. Huh. So maybe huh. a collection of cartoon intros? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Sure. Is it just like the theme music? Maybe. Dude, there's two discs in here. Oh! Intros one and two. One and two. 90s commercials number one. <gasps> 90s commercials? Interesting. I like what? 90s commercials. That's how you got... We'll use that in our game of guess what product this is. Yeah. You just hear the jingle. That's right? a game? You talked about it. You get caught up in the crossfire. Right? It's so good. It's so good. You never had TV. But it's so good. You never had TV? Yeah, you did. You just never had... Never had TV. Never had television. You never had, like, satellite. We always liked, like, an the antenna? action figure commercials, but they also had, like, you know, blue plastic cubes that you could, like, throw your toys into. Yeah. They never sold those. And the kids always like, whoa, yeah. look what he does. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. We didn't have that. Mom, mom. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like they don't do that as much anymore, but maybe it's just. I, I feel like there was a market of, like, things your toys could, like, play with. You're using up all the ice cubes. Yeah. Trying to recreate it. Mom's like, don't use all the ice cubes. I must. Was, was that a... Nickelodeon magazine, please, or whatever it was. <laughs> yep, I remember that. <laughs> All right, this one is from Santa, and it is Pokemon Sun and Moon. This must be the Pokemon oh, Sun and Moon. Must be the last bit of Sun and Moon nine, ten, and eleven. Gotcha. Can't believe we have a complete collection. A complete yeah, collection. Right. Maybe that's what I was waiting for to start. Oh. Now you have. <laughs> look at these. Thank you so much, Santa. Santa. Buy books, do good. 
I think you mean do well. No. Do good. That's a quote. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No sure one is. No one knows what's from this. God. The Bible. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Corinthians 2. <laughs> Why would I know that? <laughs> no, it's from good old George Feeney. Oh. Feeney! From the final episode gotcha. of Boy Meets World. He tells them to, to that, do yeah. good. And they, don't you mean do well? No. Do good. Who cares if it will? <gasps> What's that? What is it, Calvin? Chocolate. Hot chocolate! Hot Ooh, chocolate no. mix. He was just asking for hot chocolate. You just was. <laughs> asking you started. shall receive. Yeah. Bam! It's a bit aggressive. Oh, sorry. I was hoping it was like... Ah! <laughs> Blow into smoke or something. <laughs> no! Don't be aggressive. <laughs> Do you think the uh, hot, the water thing gets hot enough for hot chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, it gets pretty It for hot. sure does. Why, why are you opening it? Because he wants hot chocolate. I don't think you can drink that right now, Calvin. He's, that's a water thing right Nick there. Nick wasn't going to drink it. <laughs> He's like, I'm taking this one. I just want to see how it works. You put it in water. Like, is it a powder or is it a chunk? Marshmallows. It's... Look at how many marshmallows are in this. It's just peppermint. It's not bad. Wait, what? It's peppermint topping and marshmallows. Yeah, it says... Okay, this, this, so that, it's not marshmallow and crushed candy cane flavored hot cocoa. Well, no, it says below it. It's just the toppings. It says toppings in there. I one. picked the one that's not hot cocoa. That thing. one oh. says hot chocolate mix. That one says hot chocolate mix. This one says toppings. This one says <laughs> cookies. Cookies. Chocolate but then all chip. those marshmallows are for all of the hot chocolates. Yes. Or it's for one. <laughs> you would say that. That's a present for Santa. Yeah. <laughs> Santa's burning a lot of calories tonight. <laughs> yeah, right? I need to stay awake as yeah. I get through all of the world. Thank you so awesome. much. Yeah, thanks. thanks so much. Yeah, there's no other ones that say toppings. Just, yeah. just that one. Yeah. <laughs> I... All right, Rick. <sighs> My luck. The head elf. By the way, from Santa. <laughs> What were we just watching that we were like, that's the head elf from Santa Claus? Oppenheimer. Okay, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. Bernard. Bernard is an Oppenheimer, right? Mm hmm. From the Santa Claus? It's Bernard! Gridman, the hyper agent. Complete oh. Blu ray series. Gridman. Gridman! Fighter of the Circle Man! Circle Man! It looks like an ultra. Friend to everyone! Friend to electricians! <laughs> seven kids. Malto, you can. You can. Creator of the graph. <laughs> <laughs> For everyone. This sounds like an interesting premise. And he knows geometry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you guys have your own It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia in jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Electronic superhero of the future. Oh, oh damn! He's electronic. Oh. So he like grabs the mains and he prevents a computerized demon from the mains. Damn. <laughs> damn! Thank you, Gridman. Saving us from he computerized seen. demons. He, yeah, he protects our electricity. Protector of electricity. Surge protector. You're up, Eric. Okay. Grab a Santa <clears throat> gift or something. Okay, this one's blind way from Chris. Oh. Kringle? Chris Kringle. It is The Max. Oh, yeah. Max. The complete series from MTV. I remember that. I don't know this at all. Uh, does the it have Max. two X's? Like Calvin, see, he might know. See? People out there know. Do they? Is Do it a bird? This? Look at his mustache. Is that what that is? Yeah. I thought it was teeth. Hey guys, here's a DVD copy of the animated version of one of my favorite comic books from the 90s, The Max. Enjoy, Chris. He just doesn't have a lower jaw. Is he cutting her toenails? Yep. Seems like some In the murky alleyways of New York City, homeless Max huddles in his box and dreams of crushing evil villains. But when he bursts into colorful netherworld of the outback, The Max is a hero. In full purple splendor, his friend, Julie, a freelance social worker, thinks the Max's alternate universe is just an escape from the harsh reality of New York, not realizing that she, too, roams the outback as the jungle queen. Damn. So they go to New York and Australia? Or, like, 
to the Outback and they get some No, steak. the Outback is what this alternate Ooh, reality is called. Uh, colorful netherworld of the Outback. We should go to the Outback. Go Outback. You want to go to the Outback? You know they don't have fosters in Australia? Fosters? Remember fosters? Like foster parents? Fosters. Australian for beer. Remember that? No. They don't have it. Yeah. That's just an American company that... You know, they also yeah. don't have Outback Steakhouse. No, they do. I saw No, they just have Steakhouse. Yeah. Yeah. They have the... In the, it's yeah. not Outback. So in the Outback. Everybody goes every Sunday. Where they grill up some kangaroo steaks. <laughs> and blue They don't. <laughs> they do have kangaroo steaks, but not at Outback. <laughs> I always got... When I was young, I remember getting ribs out back steakhouse. I'm like, these are kangaroo ribs. Kangaroo yeah. ribs. <laughs> <laughs> they have kookaburra wings. Do they? Yeah. All right, blind wave from Santa. They're not actual kookaburra wings. They're just uh, chicken wings. It's a sword and shield that we're missing. Sword and shield eight. What's that? Huh? That's one of the gym leaders, I believe. Is it? Cool. What what gym is it? Uh, he's just a... Emo. <laughs> well, there is a gym leader, and actually, maybe that's not, that's not him. No, wait, that is, yeah. He's just very tired. He sings and stuff, too. He's an older okay. brother to, like, another character, too. Cool. There you go. What's funny is I started to mix it into Sun and Moon, which has a guy who looks a lot like Professor Oak, mm-hmm. but he looks like he has gone through some stuff and just yeah. doesn't want to be here anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's... Like, he's like the janitor at school that's just kind of like... <laughs> All right, kids. You know, just Mike wants- Mike Trap sometimes has that kind of feel. You know, yeah, just uh, wants to go home. To blind way. Would you guys mind if we pause so I can go pee? I have yes, to pee, like, it's only great. been an hour. Sorry, most. I really have to pee. All go right. ahead. This is from Santa. We have Star Wars: The High Republic Adventures. Mm. Oh, it's a it's a it's a Pon Krell guy. Yeah, right? a basilisk. Got a mustache and a little dude on his shoulders. And dude. Star Wars High Republic character encyclopedia. This is cool. Ooh, an encyclopedia. For the yeah, Ooh. encyclopedia. Yeah, use that. <laughs> okay, Ted. Chameleon. It's Embo Hatch. This is really cool. But not Embo. Phase one, phase two, and phase three. Interesting. Phase one is in the middle of phase two and phase three. Phase two takes place before phase one. And phase three takes place after phase one. Gotcha. Isn't that weird? Well, sounds huh. like a very Lucas thing to yeah, do. Yeah, it sounds like Star Wars to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's the same It's the same orientation as the films were made. Well, this is going to be good, Aaron, because you talk about often how sometimes you have a hard time imagining new characters. I do. So they all have pictures and stuff? Um, well, I don't know. I, just, I was just looking through the timeline oh, stuff yeah, okay. that they have in here. They have some timeline things, which is really cool. They're just... But... I don't want to read too much of those, but Jedi growing up. Hey, cool. This is, um, shoot, what's his name? Porter Ingle. That's what it is, yeah. Oh, his name is Porter right there. there. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was like, Porter Ingle. It's Porter Ingle, isn't it? He's, he's but that's reading. cool. Yeah. Vildar Mac. Barash Sylvan. I don't recognize some Tab, of these, so they might be Mally, some other stuff. Tired might not, Jedi but, who cooks now. But yeah, there's a ton of... No one of, should go hungry. But he used to be the deadliest swordsman, I think. <laughs> Eric, look! Yeah. Yaddle! Ah, oh, cool. She'd be around. Yep, yeah. and Yoda. And Yariel Poof. Whoa! There's one of the Kiati Mundis. Char Real Roy. So, yeah, this is really cool. This would be nice to be able to, like, all right, what's this guy look like here? Very you know? much so, yeah. As the characters get less and less important, they get. Less and less pages. <laughs> oh, I hate when I'm reading Yoda a... gets two. Yeah. <laughs> two pages for Yoda. I'm hating when I'm reading a book and they mention an alien species. I'm like, what's this alien species look like? So I go on Wikipedia. I'm like, who was Bob from, you know, he's a he's a Zordaton. Okay, what are the Zordatons? And then I would go to the Wikipedia article. It's like, the only known Zordaton is Bob from this book. Damn it. <laughs> but what's it look like? Here's uh, Loden Greystorm and Skier. Yep. So yeah, Sweet. no, this is cool. Loden's I love awesome. it. awesome, yeah. Bell, here's Bell. Bell Xanatar. Buriaga. Buriaga. Buri. This is sweet. I love this. Thank you so much. Who sent this? Did we do this? Hey, Santa. This... Thank you, Santa. There's so many characters. And it's not just Jedi either. Like, there's a lot of, like, there's a section of just the Jedi. Yeah, sure. But then they also talk about threats to the Jedi, the Galactic Republic, just citizens. Cool. Yeah. So that's that's really sweet. cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Santa. Is Geode in there? I don't know. I didn't get there. I need to have Geo. But I know what he looks like. 
Geode is the best character in Star Wars. Is he a rock? Yep. He's, How'd I know? I don't know if he's the best, but he is. He's amazing. He's a big old. He, he's like, if if Han was in carbonite, just take Han out of the carbonite, and just leave it like a box. That's he moves. That's it. But you that's can't it. see it. So he's Drax. No, Drax moves. Is it like the mountain from Samuel's Merlin? But you can't see it. I don't know well, what that means. At, yeah, uh, the, the the Rock of Ages. Yeah, yeah. Rock um, of Ages. No, he. No. You know, the other characters think that like this crew is kind of messing with. Like, it's kind of implies like, are you messing with us? This guy doesn't speak. He doesn't. It's, it's nothing. But it would seem as if it moves. You just can't see it. He's the pet rock. Yeah, he's like a a, a whipping angel mm-hmm. in that way. You can't see him move, but he does. Okay. He's just awesome. He's nice. A he's rock. very loving, and he listens to you. A rock. Nice. Yeah. Thank you so much for the encyclopedia. He has one of the best rescue sequences in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> to blind way from Michael Rutherford. Michael. Michael. When did we read that book? Was that this year? Or was it last year? That was this year. Was it this year? I think. You don't. You don't think? Don't what know. do you think? Is it more discs? Yeah, jewel cases. Oh. Jewel. Nope. Yeah, it's been so long since I've since I've seen. A jewel case be used. Man, yeah, I used to have like hundred packs of oh, these. I had so many of them, <laughs> color coded. Yeah, you know what I was pirating. <laughs> Allegedly, gold. Well, we have music, booty. So we have mixtapes. Cool. This one starts with "You Spin Me Right Round." You mm-hmm. spin. That's the makeout me music. Right round, Come on, Eileen. Come on. Take on, on me. Day. I ran so far away. And solid, I solid. Day. What is that? Eighties. So yeah, most of it. Yeah. Ain't no sunshine. Ain't no sunshine. Somebody that I used to know. <laughs> Yellow submarine. We're really spanning the decades here. Mm-hmm. Quite a bit of Beatles on this one. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just music. Yeah. Music. Some good songs. Uh, I believe did was it Michael? Someone sent music like this. I think last year as well. But it might have also been Michael then. Oh, Could be. Is, is there a note Bob or anything? Dylan. It's Ghostbusters. Which one? Just right it part says of Ghostbusters. So there's a Ghostbusters theme, and you guys know how that goes? The Ghostbusters theme? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. no. That's not it. No, that's not it. Well, it's the Ghostbusters song. No, that's Ghostbusters, but it's not yeah. the Ghostbusters theme. Yeah, that's what everybody thinks about, so I feel like I it's still wrong. got it right. It's no, just... no. The non-true fans. <laughs> 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 no, the Ghostbusters theme is the one that has kind of like the bling, bloom. It's like just instrumental. Uh-huh. Do, 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 do. Sure, it kind of has yeah. like that kind of like rhythm to it I but there's no words but no, I get what you mean <laughs> <laughs> it was more of a trick question than anything Power of Love Over the Rainbow Space Jam Axel F Space Jam yes yeah. there's the note Come yes on, hello down. there Eric, Rick, Calvin and Aaron last year for Christmas Mailbag I sent some CDs that I burned myself see filling them with songs that I enjoy this is part two Previously, the CDs were labeled as Christmas Memes Anime Normal Songs and Christmas Number 2 the CDs this time are in order Normal songs number well, two. They were <laughs> a bunch of normal, regular old songs that don't have any particular theme. Eighties one hit wonders. Cool. A bunch of one hit wonders from the eighties. CD was specifically inspired by a VH1 special titled "The Greatest One Hit Wonders of the Eighties." Nice. That's this one. Probably. Yeah. Movies. A bunch of songs from various movies and films. That's this one. Yeah. Eighties hits. Hit songs from the eighties, regardless of whether the one hit wonders or not. Oh. So see. This one. Who knows. And classics, several classic songs. My personal definition of a classic song is anything from before the 80s. Mm. As before, included with these CDs are labels with the track listings on them. On the backs of the labels are the singers and the bands who perform the songs. With the movie CD, I also included a second label that lists the movies the songs are from. That's it. That should be about it for now. Are there any songs here that stand out to any of you guys? Regardless, I hope you guys have a blessed Christmas and a happy new year. Sincerely, Michael Rutherford. Thank you, Michael. Um, I like almost every song on this on this disc. Yeah. I love Power of Love. I don't think I've used a CD player in my car yet. I should use it. I like to move it. Mine doesn't have one. I don't have a CD player. Ghostbusters. I think mine still has I only had a CD player. Don't want to miss it. Now I don't have any CD player. Mine still has it. I think it still has it. Pokemon. 
That's that's not. That's not. Polka, I don't know what that polka, is. Polka, polka. Staying alive. I don't know what that is. Here comes Happy. the sun. <laughs> do, 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 do. Devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> Every breath you take is a good one. Every breath you take. It's a lot of good ones. Sunglasses at night. In the air tonight. <laughs> right? Is that the right one? I can feel it calling Oh, yeah, okay. Did you didn't get the drum? You didn't get it from the drums? Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't finish it. Is that what it is? Yeah, you you gotta do the whole thing. <laughs> I was left unsatisfied. I just completely lost it. Yeah. <laughs> Smooth criminal. Ding, 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 ding. Jump. Uh, Come on, jump. Right? Jump, jump, jump. Uh-huh. No, no, I think you're thinking of crisscross, right? Crisscross and make you jump. What jump, jump. are you? I don't know. There's a lot of jumps, right? There's Van Halen's jump, right? Van Halen. Go ahead, jump. Bump, 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 bump. No. Um, then there's uh, jump, around. Jump, jump. jump around. Jump up, jump up, yeah, and get down. down. That's jump, the famous jump. jump. That's the famous jump? Yeah. You're just like, that's it? That's, that's the it. one? That's the one. I think there's so many famous jumps. Uh, I don't think it's one way. We can tell. No, Crisscross and make you jump. I don't think it's that one. That one's from the 90s, right? Jump. Because these are all from the 80s. Yeah. Jump, jump. That's the first one I think of. Criss Cross. Then Van Halen. Van Halen. Mm. Living on a Prayer, Jesse's Girl. When Doves Cry. Every Rose Has a Thorn. That, those are all good songs. These yeah. are all great. Yeah. Mr. Roboto in... Domo no. Origato, Mr. Roboto. Sorry, no Bobby D, Rick, but I like that disc a lot. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Um, we can look on the back and see which jump it is. Oh, it's Van Halen. Aha, I knew it. Dump, 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 dump. Dude, you don't think of Van Halen at all, Eric? Not when I think of jump, no. That's a good one. Um, who's, who sings the one you're thinking of? I don't know. Yours is called Jump Around. That's what you're thinking of. Jump Around. It's called Jump Around. Jump Damn, jump. who sings Jump Around? I gotta look it up. Yeah, well, it's your, I, well, it's your gift now, Eric. Yeah. Pick a gift. To Blind Wave. From? House of Pain. From San. Pack it up, pack it in. No, from let Kristen. me begin. I came to win, battle me, it's a sin. I came to get down. I came to get down. Pain was a Y. He's in the jump. What? Pain, pain? was a Y. No, I don't think so. Merry Christmas. What? It's a switch dock yeah. cover thing. What? More switch dust cover. Huh. Let's open this sucker Moore-or. up. More or? Yeah, um. Moor. Moor, yeah. M-O-O-R-O-E-R. All right, let's see what it is. <laughs> Making sure... That it is happens. made for Christmas. You should just throw the trash behind you at the fireplace, Eric. I should do that. In yeah. the fire. Yeah. Is that cost? I, I, I started throwing ours back there. It's the greatest thing I ever thought of. It just, it's like it disappears. Right? Yeah. It looks like... Hey, you don't even have to look back there. Yeah. It's like, and then, it's great, is I come back tomorrow and it's just gone. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it turned your switch into a museum piece. Yeah, it comes with uh, like a lighting remote. Ooh. Yeah, the base is like. Maybe underlit. it just Christmas fies your. It switch. comes with a switch. No. It's not. It's just the base. <laughs> <laughs> what a savings! Yeah, and then it has a, a plastic cover that goes over it too, so it just covers your whole switch. Yeah, and the light like goes yeah. around the edges of the. It's just for a really cool switch display, which Eat. is awesome. That's cool. I might try this out uh, with my switch at home. Got fans on the bottom, so it should cool. keep it cool. Switch. And that's yeah. that's awesome. That is really awesome. Places for the wires, very really cool. And you can choose the color. What color? Thank you. Any color. Slowly cycle. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, thank you so much, Kristen. Neat. Interesting. What's I've it called? Seen I've like never that. seen it before either. Or or. Oh, and it plugs it plugs into your switch. I wonder how that I wonder if that works well. It gives two more USB ports there, but I wonder how yeah. much power it takes from the switch. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, pick a one. Freak out. What the? I'm gonna open Blind Wave from Kool Aid. Maybe it's Kool Aid. Oh yeah. Hey. Uh, Gravity Falls. Nice. And Mavity Falls. Mavity Falls. <laughs> it actually, they should, make a, really they should cool. make a shirt for that. Like yeah. a crossover? Yeah. That'd be good. 
All right. Sorry, Rick. I said we're all like, ah, and you're just like, I don't understand what's. Why do you say gravity wrong? <laughs> Hey guys, Aiden here, or Kool-Aids on Discord. I've uh, been watching y'all since 2019 and been a wave rider since 2020. I'm super grateful that I got to finally meet you all at Star Wars Celebration earlier this oh, year. Yeah. It was so fun to meet so many people at Star Wars Celebration. It was. I was the Ezra cosplayer. Nice. Which is really nice. cool. And this is my first time sending something for mailbag, so oh, I hope you. you all enjoy the gifts. Well, a good one to send to. Thank yep. you for sending to Christmas mailbag, intentionally or unintentionally. Yeah. I uh, decided to get you some Gravity Falls shirts because that's one of my favorite reactions of yours and shows in general. It's a great show. One of the best. Fantastic. Gravity Falls is one of the first shows I remember really being invested in and getting involved with as a kid. And me and my little brother would follow every episode when it premiered and theorize and try to crack the codes. And that was one of the first things we really bonded over. Now seeing you guys go through a similar process years later and watching you fall in love with the show, characters, and the experience of it all really brought me back to those times watching with my bro. So to wrap up, thanks so much for the laughs and the joy of taking me back to those days. And I hope you and your families have a wonderful holiday. And I hope to see you at the next celebration. Well, yeah. Thank you so much, kool -Aids. Uh No. In Japan. Gravity Falls is so much fun. Yeah. The one thing I regret out of all of that was that I know my kids watch it before. And I'm almost positive they didn't go through it the way we did. Yeah. So part of me was like, man, I wish I would have watched it with them. Yeah. Forced them to. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. You can't watch, you can't watch the next one. episode until you solve this riddle. Solve this puzzle. Use yeah. your brain. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah. No, thank you so much. Gravity Falls is great. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. It's only two seasons. It's short, but it's so good. It's fantastic. That was even worse because she only watched our reactions. Uh, why? Uh, my my nephews loved it, and as we were watching it, my brother was like, "Don't tell him anything. You guys don't know what what not to tell him." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had that too. Like there was one time, Kanan was like, "Well," and everyone at the table was like, "No, Kanan!" And just like yelling at him. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> but "Yeah, they love that show too, though." Yeah. Uh, Calvin, you're up. Okay. Blind wave from Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shit ton of tea. Tea tea. Cha la tea. Cha for tea. Cha. Yeah, but I get tea pack. But thank you so much. Was this Kristen or who was it? This was Kristen. Sparking. <laughs> oolong, English breakfast tea. Heck yeah. More oolong, more oolong. Now is it chai or is it like just tea? Earl Grey black. Uh, oh, uh, cha! Ah! <laughs> fuck! The lid closed. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this box is too smart. <laughs> you threw it at the box. This is great. <laughs> Very cool. Cha! Sakura's favorite. Thank you. <laughs> it went like you're a break flap. <laughs> it was great. I loved it. Land uh, wave. Ooh, a letter. Oh wait. Oh, that's specifically to you two. Yeah. Have, uh, it's because of Reacher. <laughs> Maybe. That would be exciting. <laughs> this one is blind wave. Also from Kristen. Man, this Albert's great. Tag spoils. <laughs> huh? Tag spoilers for what? For what's inside. Oh, the tag is spoilers? I just said it tagged oh. as spoilers. I see. Yeah, don't read. But why are you reading the tags? That it's because it's, uh, that's what oh, you do. You that's... read tags. You're good. Shit. Oh, no, wait. You know what? I think a lot of these are also not the tags for the things that were they were saved from previous ones. Well, this is definitely what it said. Oh, okay. A well, awesome I mean... U Hoxo t-shirt. That's so soft. Wrong. Well, there's also, we have a lot of bags that had that stuff in them, too. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cool. Hey, it's got all four this time. Yay! Yay. I love this so much. Oh. Can't wear that in the UK, though. Why? He has a very rude hand gesture going on. He's doing this. No, he's That's more okay. Like this. It's rude. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your U Hawk Show t shirt from Kristen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so you so much. much. Amazing. Uh, uh. What do you think Churchill was doing? 
Being rude. <laughs> Fuck you all. <laughs> I've watched The Crown. <laughs> Actually, you guys, you would enjoy it. You know who plays Churchill in that? Put that behind you, Rick. Um, John Lithgow. Oh, yeah, isn't I knew that, that. Awesome. <laughs> You told me that before. He's so good in the too. I knew that one. Yeah. There's some really good actors that play a lot of characters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, nope, not him. I was going to say John C. Hall. John C. Riley. Michael C. Hall. Michael C. Hall. Michael there we C. Go. Hall, yeah. I had the names yeah. all like jumbled in my head of like, shoot, what's his name? Yeah. I know he's in it. Like, I want to see him do that. Yeah. That'd be great. Clancy Brown was uh, uh, Truman. <clears throat> Truman? Yeah, I think. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. You think he was think. Truman? He's FDR? Not, one of them. And I would have expected him to be... Uh, I might be wrong. Ted Roosevelt. Fuck, who was the, who was the, the diplomat know. that died recently? The guy that would always piss in front of everybody else. What? Does that... What? The president that would piss in front of you. He was a president, though? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. No, There's no, probably no. a list of those. We just didn't hear about them until more recently, right? Like, I'm well, sure like, Abe pissed in front of people. Ford? Who got stuck in the bathtub? Was that Ford? I don't uh, know. No, that was... Wasn't it the Ohio president? Uh, uh, Cleveland. Who Grover pissed Cleveland? Yeah, that's right. In front of people. Now, I know I could just look up Clancy Brown in the Crown, but... Yeah, this is a much more efficient... You're thinking Johnson. Way. Oh, wow. Lyndon B. Johnson. How did you not get that? Excuse me? Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't calling Johnson for nothing. Exactly. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I yeah. wasn't thinking straight. Lyndon B. Johnson, okay. But anyway, he's also very good in it, too. We say Truman? You thought he yeah. played Jim Carrey? You idiot. <laughs> Truman Joe? <Trump? laughs> All right, who was next? Uh, was it you, Eric? Uh, yes. All right, Blind Way from Santa. Man, speaking of Jim Carrey, I really like his Grinch song. You're the mean one, Mr. Mr. Grinch. <laughs> or something like that, right? Well, yeah, but he, he also changes his voice throughout. Yeah. It's like, empty hole. Like, he has like that kind of stuff. I just, I don't know. It's just the way he fluctuates his voice through a lot of different parts of it is just really fun. This is so Space weird. Sheriff Gavon. Space Sheriff? Huh. That's what okay. it says. There's the Enterprise back there. I was going to say, that is, is a, it? that is a straight up rip off. No, I don't think so. Enterprise esque. It's, it's heavily inspired. <laughs> no, because the Enterprise has like little things on the back. And it's it goes different. Back. They, they do. You know what? I think that and that are separate. I think this is a ship in front of a space station in the back. But there's a shadow on this, and it connects up into there. I think you're making it up. Nope. Yeah, look, they're different. Nope. <laughs> so so not part. different. <laughs> I just wanted to see these little snake guys, though. Cobra agents! It's a G.I. Joe crossover, too? No, they're just... Go, it's Joe! literally a cobra. <laughs> Okay, so you're telling me if you saw this, you'd be like, that's the Enterprise. From back here. From the angle that they put it on that, yeah. this looks I mean, so much worse. My eyes kind of messed up <laughs> right now, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a UFO with like a Power Ranger ship underneath it. You know? It's weird. Yeah. It's it. But I get what you guys need now. Just thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Santa. Getting packages from over there. Try to. I opened this and... Ugh! What's your guys' favorite Christmas movie? Do you have a favorite Christmas movie? It's a Wonderful Life, probably. No, I've never seen that one. <gasps> Super Sentai! Um, this one is, I believe, SPD? Is that the one they had their numbers on, I think? Super... Uh, Space Patrol Delta, I oh. think is what that's related to. But I don't Space remember. Patrol. I remember oh, them all having numbers on them, but I can't remember exactly what it was. Space it might be SPD department. or RPD. Is my first two thoughts. It's not RBD. Their helmets are different. Tokusu Sentai. Stick with SPD. Deca Ranger, the complete series. I did have fun with Jake, where him and I were like looking through all the Super Sentai when we got like cool. the one big one like a few mailbags ago. Yeah. Like him and I were like, okay, we gotta organize these by the Power Rangers. <laughs> so we're looking at okay, this one is this, this one is this, and then as we get more of the Power Rangers, we'll yeah. just put them next to each other so we can have like okay, go through this, and then if you want them, they're over here. Gotcha. It was great. To answer your question, though, I think it's hard to be home alone. I like Home Alone a lot. Home Alone is my yeah. favorite Christmas movie. Yeah. Um, yeah Carol with the Bells by John Williams. One of my favorite Christmas songs. <laughs> the, the newest Home Alone was really good. 
<laughs> uh, hard if you count that. Honestly, yeah, Die Hard's great. I dislike that movie so much. I don't even, even think about it when I say Home Alone anymore. Really? Yeah. Did you watch any of the other ones in, the, in between yeah. three and that? Sure. Well, not between three. No, I watched one, two, and three. <laughs> you watched. I the, didn't know there was more. You watched the good ones then. Like watching uh, what was it called? Home Alone. I forget what it was called. The newest one. Like that one's good. <laughs> You should watch the other two in between. Yeah. There's two more. I don't know what they're thinking. Gotcha. It's weird. And not, Wasn't not one great. of them called, like, Locked Out or something like that? Uh, I don't know. One, he goes to, like, a mansion where, like, it's Kevin McAllister again, and it's not played by Macaulay Culkin. It's a mansion in the first one. That's not a mansion. Yeah, that's it's the McAllister mansion. mansion. It fits, like, 15 kids. <clears throat> Mr. McAllister takes his whole family to Paris. It's not a mansion. That doesn't make it him. Family. That doesn't mean he made so much. Eric, money. we went to London. That doesn't mean we live in the mansions. Yeah, but we didn't take our yeah, extended I mean, families. He had a whole. He had a whole. He yeah, had like, one side of that plane. Their family chipped in together. Remember, right? their uncle's like, your, your dad spent a lot of money on this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. He's but, rich as hell. No, it wasn't the dad didn't do all of it, though. <laughs> and if they were so rich with the mansion, then why do you have to sleep on the couch with the kid who wet the bed? You know what? In this place that I called a mansion, yeah. he wouldn't have to do that. Well, it's because but they the, had a couch. They have, fam- they have family over and they're sharing. Yeah, they yeah. let the guests in this sleep in the mansion that I'm talking about. You could have had yeah. all that family. You know how I know they're rich. Uh, Harry walks in as a as a police officer in the beginning of the movie, and everybody just doesn't give a shit. Like that's rich. They don't give a shit. There's a police officer in the house. Oh, He's right. <laughs> 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 I mean, it could be an alternative. Man. Yeah, no, this probably could be. But I think all it's right. a good point. Who's next? Uh, me. Rick, did you watch Jingle All the Way too? Ha <laughs> Me either. I, mean, I want to watch it just because I, I know the first one's not great. What? The I want to watch the second one. Whoa! Are those okay. reindeer? So we have. Is that a dababa? <laughs> this is from Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Mm. The uh, um, animated. The, yeah, the stop motion animated. Is it? Yeah. It's it's the the girl. Uh, Merry Christmas. Enjoy your reindeer plushie from Kristen. Kristen. And this one, I don't know what this is from. It has a tutu. It does have a tutu. It says the the Barrington collection. So it's not really to anything necessarily. But it's got antlers. Well, it says it's a, it's a deer sized reindeer. And a tutu. Well, thank you, Kristen. Yes, thank you. Okay, so that's not Rudolph, though. It's just, no. it was no. in Rudolph. It's, yeah. Okay. Why does it have, like, a scaly belly? I wonder that, too. Does it, does it remind you of, like, a crocodile it's or alligator like or something? Pete the Magic Dragon. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It's like that. Puff? Pete. Puff? His brother. Calvin, just because it's past December 7th, calm down. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Did they have the Christmas Ooh. parade yet here? Ooh, a giant yeah. thing of Swiss Miss milk oh, chocolates. Oh, yes. So, so many happy. hot chocolate Pure. mixes. Did you guys ever see Polar Express? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, it just makes me think of the song. Mm. Now I we got it. it. That's ha, awesome. Ha. Uh, uh, uh. S'mores. Hot chocolate. Yes. Enjoy your hot chocolate K-Cups from Kristen. Thank you, Here Kristen. we only got one rule. Never, ever let it cool. Keep you got to admit, I've been using a lot of those and nothing else and being like, oh, we're going to run out of these quick. <laughs> that sucks, but now we won't. We have another box. Over so now you're like, ha <laughs> <laughs> ha <laughs> Chugging. Yes. All right, Eric. Use it up. Uh. Oh, this is to me. How about that? Convenient. What? From Kristen. Lucky. It's such a fun song, too. We got a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Shh. Tom Hanks is so oh, good now. Oh, this is great. Puzzles. Puzzles. Mm-hmm. Two Breath of the Wild. One Puzzle. Breath one of the breath Wild. Of the <laughs> no, this is uh, this one is Breath of the Wild. This one is Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Very cool. If awesome. If you put them together next to each other, would it look like they connect? Uh, no, it won't. No, I mean, yeah, I'm sure you can make something work. <laughs> this is cool. I actually have space now to do a puzzle. I still have I'll s- do this downstairs in my house. I still have that one Witcher puzzle that I haven't put together yet. I'm waiting for the kids to get older. Yeah, and, <laughs> and move out. <laughs> <laughs> then I can frame it and put it on the wall. Yeah. All right, awesome. 
I'm going to do these. Thank you so much. I remember that puzzle. I've had that for a while, too. Yeah, you have. <laughs> it's still just in this box like one day. Be gone. Like in the top shelf of your closet. I can't, I'm going to be like a 70-year-old man just putting together my redhead. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> save the titties for later. <laughs> You should Where's that bury nickel? all your money and put a map on the back of the puzzle and then have your kid, your grandkids have to do it or something. <laughs> that would be great. Uh, that huh. blue one is a tear. Oh. <laughs> Aaron, oh. this is fragile. Oh, well, don't break it. <laughs> he threw it right at me. All right. Well, catch it gently, Eric. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> all right, blind wave from Santa. Oh. Chala, hey Chala, we got a Goku Master, Master Lease, Master Lease? Yeah, whatever that is. You know they did a third death battle of Goku and Superman? And I, I, at first I was like, this is dumb, Superman can't lose. And then I was like, but Goku would never stop trying, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah, he will always <laughs> keep coming back, right? Stronger every time. Every time. Makes sense. Did we watch the first two? Uh, I think so, yeah. Should we watch the third one? I mean, there's no point, but maybe it's a really cool animation. Yeah, you know, you know what I really want to watch? They got really good with their animation. I haven't watched it yet. I really want Rick and Morty vs. Doctor Who. That one would be fun. Yeah. Thank you so Very much cool. from yes. Santa. Awesome. Santa. I love Goku. -Go. Is Master Lies just the like, brand, or is that like a thing? It's probably the line, right? I would say it's the line, yeah. Okay. I didn't know if it was like related to no. Dragon Ball in some way or fashion. That is not a Dragon Ball font. Nope. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know what's cool to think about? If we, if the American dub was really trying to get Goku's personality down, he technically should have, like, an Appalachian accent. Yep. <laughs> That's like Kenshin, like right? Yeah. You really should talk like this. Well, there goes Vegeta. <laughs> well, they're not gonna sound like Farmer. They're yeah, not gonna he, he sounds like Farmer in the Japanese yeah. version. They're not going to change it now. Oh, no, they were not. But I'm just saying, <coughs> it would be kind of fun to think about. That'd be great. It'd be great. I yeah. like yeah. good. Not married to you. <laughs> yeah. Calvin, you're up. Ugh. Ooh, we got it. Blood wave from Santa. Ooh. Saga, volume 11. Ooh, Saga. We haven't had Saga in a while. Yeah, a long, saga. long time. Take it. It's good, but it's taken. Nice. Yeah. I like Very the little genuine. robot head dude there. Hey, I was I reading that list of, like, like, urban myths that are actually true. And one in that list is Michael Jackson did the music for Sonic 3. Have you ever heard that before? That's debatable. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Well, it was on my list. <laughs> so that's... No. At least, they were all true. <laughs> At least last I heard. That was the point of the list. <laughs> These are true, Rick. Sega! Sega! Naked gets... people. <laughs> yeah, it was naked people. Gotta get the ring before the... Eggman! Eggman! Yeah. <laughs> that's not frog. That wasn't Flat Earth, that was Pyramid Earth. Pyramid Earth. Damn. Dude, we should start that. Yeah. Guys, Earth is not flat or a globe. It's a, it's a pyramid. pyramid. Look at Egypt. <laughs> they knew. They knew. <laughs> Very cool. Thank that's you. No, look at the science. <laughs> Just making some shit science for it. Mainstream uh, institutions yeah. don't want to let you know. Yeah, they don't want to tell you. Because <laughs> there's land on the other sides. <laughs> <laughs> Inside is the treasure. <laughs> That's the hollow pyramid. Hollow pyramid earth. Ah, heavy. By the way, from Guts. Guts. You know what? Feels like the size and shape. Do, do, do you have it? Guts. Guts. <laughs> Oh no. It's a nut. Oh no. Rick, just untie yeah, it. Uh, you have been a bad boy. What do you, what do you, what do you just no, cut the don't ribbon? Don't let them mock you. Do what you want, buddy. Just cut the ribbon. I feel like this is ridiculous. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's like when. <laughs> the ribbon would be so much easier to cut. It's so tiny. You're going to cut yourself, and I'm going to laugh more. Okay, I got it. We're good. Okay. I just needed a hole. Yeah. <laughs> you don't deserve Yay, that. Yay! Number 14. 14? I have like two or three. <laughs> As of right now, I believe they don't have enough chapters for one of these deluxe editions for quite a while at least. Mm. Okay. 
Kentaro Miura, you will be missed. Would love to hear your thoughts on the most recent chapters from Guts. Alright. Yes. I gotta read up. Me too. God, oh, it goes to such cool places, Eric. I have one at my house. I think at, I think after that I have two more to read. I haven't read it in quite some time. I'll use it the winter break to read some berserk. That'll be fun. <laughs> That'll get you in the spirit. Yeah, it, yeah, it will. <laughs> it totally will. Awesome. Thank you. You don't deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> I love, you did that really open. I was like, you don't deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you're up. Okay, this one is fragile. Fragile. From Megan Britton. There's like a box. A clock. A clock box. A box clock. There's a box in it. Uh, uh, it does look like a clock box. You know what it reminds me of? It's like the... Uh, the, the record, vinyl record, the record clock. clocks. Yeah. yeah, that's what I. That's what it looks like to me. When I showed the front, it clearly shows this person the dress. So, cut that out, please. Rip and tear. Oh, no, just gently slide. Read last. Read last. Maybe it's just a record record. I mean, Stay like around. after all these. To the end of mailbag. All right, Aaron. Read. Make sure you put it in your hat. And save it for later. He's already lost it. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> <laughs> you have so little faith in him. He ate it. <laughs> I like this what is it, Eric? bit. Is it a record? Oh, oh yeah. Neat. Fuck, Jeremy Zuckerman. Jeremy Zuckerman. That's sweet. Oh, nice. Look one. Water. <laughs> need to hear it. Hear this. Does it have the acne tile? <clears throat> it does. Thank you All so right, much. The camera. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes. They know what it looks like. No. (laughs) Yes, so good. Hey, Blind Wave crew. Eric, Rick, Calvin, and Eric. Hi. Uh, Merry Christmas. Here's to hoping this came in time for Christmas mailbag. Well, just. There is hope. It picked up this morning. Last time I sent you guys something, it was mailbag number... 69. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice! Nice was in parentheses. <laughs> Which I think is like six and a half years ago. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a while. It's been a long time. Since then, many things have happened to me. For one, I watched Black Sails! Yeah. <laughs> For the first time a few years back, and I've rewatched it far too many times since then. Not enough. It Fire. is, by far, my favorite show of all time. And Flint... Fire is my favorite character in anything ever. Ever. I believe it. He's a good character. It was even the deciding factor in my decision to start supporting you guys on Patreon earlier this year. Thank I you. needed to finally see the full Black Sails reactions. Mm. I likely would have never heard of the show if not for you guys. So thank you for that. Bring, Bring it back. Bring How can God keep wind from these men? How <laughs> <laughs> dare God keep wind from these men? <laughs> Give me that Treasure Island movie. Uh, it uh, needs to happen. It would be so sweet if they did a Treasure Island movie so with those guys. Fucking those characters. Good. So good. Another thing that happened is that I almost got to meet you guys that time you had a meetup at Santa Monica Pier. Oh, oh, and then Calvin died. Nearly. Calvin died, yeah. Huh. I remember those people, those people showing up when things were going down. They were like, Yep. Uh, what do we do? I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have my license at the time, so I had oh. to get a ride from my brother. But he took a little while to get ready, and we missed you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you probably got caught in ambulance traffic. <laughs> <laughs> but we still had a great time just exploring the pier together. Hopefully, there's a next time though, and if there is, I promise I won't miss you guys again. Well, it won't be for E3, but maybe for something else. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the Avatar vinyl. I've never shipped a record before, so I'm hoping it arrived okay and not damaged. Well, we I've haven't been... opened it all the way, but I assume it's fine. I've been hoping for fine. an official release of both the Avatar and Chorus soundtracks for so long, and it's great to finally see it happen. I've been wanting to send you guys something for a while now. Six and a half years, apparently. And since I found you guys through your Avatar reactions, this seemed like a good idea. Ah, it's I just... a perfect fit. I decided on vinyl, specifically because I ended up with two vinyls. Um, a little story about that. Huh. The one I'm sending you is the one I pre-ordered whenever pre-orders for it started. But I ended up having a second copy because the composer for the soundtrack 
Jeremy Zuckerman, had a signing event, and I bought a ticket. Wow. Oh. That's cool. Uh, for which included entry into the event as well as the vinyl. I think the one I pre-ordered ended up arriving like a day before the signing. Uh, when I got to the signing, I realized I didn't even think to bring the one that I had pre-ordered with me, too. Like, I didn't just forget to bring it. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> so, long story short, I could have gotten the one I'm sending you guys signed, too, but unfortunately, I was dumb. That's okay. <laughs> Despite that, going to the signing was a super cool experience, because not only did I get a chance to meet Jeremy Zuckerman, but as I was leaving, uh, Michelle Murphy, Toff's voice actress who I didn't even realize was there, came up to me and said hi because she noticed I was wearing Avatar-themed merch from her merch store. Mm. Oh, cool. So that, that was sweet. just an already incredible experience, somehow becoming even better. Hopefully the Book 2 soundtrack will be released officially too, and if it does, uh, and I'm put in the same scenario, I won't make the same mistake I did this time, I swear. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry if this letter is long and disorganized and has far too much rambling. It's like 6 a.m. and I haven't slept yet, so please forgive me. I've been watching you guys since I was 13. 13? I wow. think, and now I'm going to be 22 in a month. Man, Eric always says bad words. I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> He's not the only one. Let He's the boy the listen. <laughs> uh, it's been a sweet ride. Ah. And I look forward to continuing it for many years to come. Thank you, and once again, Merry Christmas. Sincerely, Megan B. from California. Merry Aww. Christmas. Thank you, Megan. That's so nice. Thank you. I remember meeting our youngest fan I've ever met at Star Wars Celebration. Uh -huh. Where yeah. I got down like one knee. I was like, hi, how are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm like, does your mom know what we say? <laughs> <laughs> You're so fucking young. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much, Megan. And yes, this is uh, hopefully just the first. You really like that just time as you were well, It's just as well you didn't get it signed because we would never open it and listen to it if it was signed. That's true. I would. Monster. <gasps> All right. Next up, Jorge oh, oh. hey, Gonzalez. Jorge. Hey. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Power Rangers. Wow. Uh, Rescue Rangers. That's Super Sentai, really. Super uh, Sentai Rescue dude, Rangers. Dude, this one I believe is Time for Time Force. Go, go, five. Sweet. For Super Sentai. Careful, it's opening. Yep. Uh, little, little, I messed up. Uh, Here's another Super Sentai. Music. I don't recognize this one from anything. Uh, <laughs> Sentai Time Ranger. This is Super Sentai, but this one is uh, Power Rangers Samurai. Chojin Sentai Jetman. Oh, hey. This one's Super Sentai, but I believe this is what they use for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Because uh -huh. it's the White Ranger and there's their new Zords. Cool. But they didn't use the Rangers in this one. They just used the White Ranger, oh. who was, like, the, the Green White Ranger story is entirely different than Super Sentai. Oh, yeah. There's, oh, like, like, there's like, like a brother story and stuff in there that's, that's not that's involved at cool. all. Huh. Here's more Super Sentai. This one's Wild, from Wild Force. Is a Super Sentai, but this one is base, not Lost Galaxy. I get them confused sometimes. Mega Ranger. <gasps> hey! This is Super Sentai, but these ones, I think, are the Alien Rangers. Or maybe it's the Ninja Rangers. You remember the Aqua? The a Aqua... Dang, I forget what they're called. Before Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, <coughs> there was Super Sentai. Look at This one's Lost Galaxy. Lost Galaxy... Power Rangers Space did so well, Lost Galaxy, they put in space, had nothing to do with space at all. <laughs> they just did it. They made a space station that was floating through space so that it was in space, but everything happened inside the space station, which had like a terraformed world that they were uh, on. That's <laughs> silly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this one's from Zeo. Zeo's one of my favorites. Sentai O-Ranger. Um, and then this one is Turbo, which from what I understand, Super Sentai's Power Rangers Turbo is like a ridiculous, ridiculous kind of series. And okay. they, they try to go very serious and much more serious in like the Power Rangers version. And that's why a lot of Turbo didn't work out. So Space was gonna be the last Power Rangers, but then Space brought it back. Or back in Nazis, man. There's no Nazis there, Calvin, shut up. <laughs> Let me see the Nazis. 
bottom right hand corner. <laughs> no, in the back is what he was looking at. No, not on the back. Right? It's on, it's oh, on the, the front. front? Yeah. Bottom left, wasn't it? Bottom left, yeah. My bad. I don't even know what he was looking at. It was like all their weapons together. I don't see any knots. But no. <laughs> I get what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a joke. I'm not serious. But no, this is cool. Like, all these are Power Ranger oh, Super Sentai's, too. Gosh. They're just sweet. That is a... So, I hey, will. That's a bookshelf right there. I will put these organized, and the Baba will be very happy. Yeah. Nice. You will put it's a lot order. of discs. Well, I might at least organize them in the order they need to go on the shelf, and she yeah. can put them on the shelf. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Jorge. Jorge. Garcia. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Oh. Blonde wave from Mr. Courier. Uh. A mm. gift for you. Your discussions are always the best and entertaining. Uh, let's see what else is brought up from this game. Hopefully, you'll read out some of these. Enjoy from Mr. Courier. Okay, let's see. And it is Let's Get Talking, a, the questions game to get to know your family better. Okay. I can question games. Eight and up. Can you give it to the game master? You open it first, though. Yes. <laughs> we might be a giant hole in the box if we give it to Rick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just rips like a phone book. <laughs> All right, do we want light questions, big questions, or bigger questions? I don't know what the biggest is. We'll go with the bigger. I always collect medium when I'm playing the game. Like, what, like, is it, like, how, like, personal they get, or what? Or just, like... Like, is the range, like, what's your favorite color to, like, what's the first time you... I don't know. I think it's, like, that's... Yeah. That's a different range of questions. <laughs> now, the person who last said something nice to another player is the first to draw and read a card. Nope, we can't play. I just pat her on the back, that's nice. You didn't say anything nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't say you had to say something nice, right? Players take turn reading and answering the questions. You can either both answer the same card or answer each one yourself. It's up to you. There are no rules. Hmm. Uh, playing two, spent too much time together. <laughs> <laughs> Name something that people think smells disgusting, but you don't mind smelling. I like gasoline. Gasoline's a good one. You like smelling gasoline? Love, I love smelling gasoline. Love I love smelling gasoline. Yep. It's when a I, problem. When, yeah, when I'm filling up, like, diesel exhaust, mm. actually, which is mm -hmm. probably actually really bad for me. Well, yeah, yeah it's exhaust. But, um, man, what is something that I like to smell that other people don't like to smell? My own fart. Yep. <laughs> when you smell someone Rick else's fart, it's like, oh, so God, fast. but your own fart. <laughs> uh, he goes, whoa. That's like a my, my shit don't stink kind of thing right there. I don't know. It stinks. It's not to me. <laughs> I know it's going to stink to others. I have definitely like, whoo, dang, I hope no one comes over here. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, but you haven't like, yeah, give me give me some more. <sighs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, nothing, nothing just comes to mind of like, oh, man, this is a weird one. Now. Love rubbing alcohol. Smell that. So rubbing alcohol and gasoline and, and farts. Um, silage. Silage. Mm, yeah. I love the smell of like, it's like a freshly spread manure. I hate the smell of cut grass. Mm. That's a different question. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Here, let me, let's do another card. Let's Cut. see what else there is. Calvin. All right. <laughs> when was the last time you did something nice for someone in the family? What prompted it? Took my wife to the hospital because she broke her leg. <laughs> that was something nice. <laughs> she, she... <laughs> what, what classifies as nice? You know? Like, what's the... I gently <laughs> woke my wife up one night uh, after I had just demolished my face. Because I knew she was dead asleep. And I knew if I just, like, woke up, like, something's wrong! And I was bleeding. She's like, ah! You know? So I had to, like, slowly wake her up and, like... Start turning on lights and revealing my face slowly. So that was nice, I think. I took <laughs> Melanie on a date to the theater and to dinner because Leon took a question that I said where I, what did I say? I said something like, uh, um, oh, he was like, why is there this, why do we have this cash sitting here? Like just like dollar bills and stuff. Uh -huh. I was like, well, that's to, to pay for like events and stuff that go to. He goes, oh, are you and mom going out? And I was like, well, no, I meant, like, there's all the basketball games, and it's, like, $5 to get in and stuff, so yeah. like, we need to have cash to give them to get into the basketball mm -hmm. games and stuff. And then I was like, why? What are you doing tonight? You want to watch the kids? We'll go on a date. <laughs> <laughs> so then it triggered, like, a date night. Huh, that's good. I guess that kind of works. Because she was like, oh, are we, can we go out? I'm like, 
I guess. Leon's gonna, Leon wants to play Spider-Man, so he's just gonna be here out in the house. You know, make sure the kids are good. I guess that counts. Nice. I also, that same day, like, carried two big shelf things down stairs mm -hmm. outside on slippery steps. Yeah. And, like, th these muscles, my, like, the bottoms of, like, my delts were, like, they felt bruised. Like, they were so sore from, like, holding them back. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Which extended family member do you think you're the most like? I oh, found man. myself, while I was dealing with my face stuff, especially the first day, doing stuff that I, when I was taking care of my dad with his heart stuff, I'd be like, oh, man, just don't do that and you'll have so much, much a better time. And I found myself doing those things. And I apologized to Jancy. I said, I'm sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't be doing the, that. You're right. What do we need to do? Because, <laughs> like, you know, do that man thing. It's like, I'm fine. I don't need band-aids and neosporin. It's, it's fine. It's going to be okay, you know? But I wasn't letting uh, myself be cared for in maybe a way that I needed. So that's like your dad? So I'm kind of like my dad in that regard. I was going to ask before we got in, like, what's considered extended family? Your uh, aunts, uncles, cousins... Mm -hmm. So not your so dad. So like not my dad. <laughs> that's, well, that's, what was, that's what I was wondering. I was, I was gonna say like family. my dad probably, but like he he's included in your extended family. But you, I think you just have more options. Not that you're excluding your immediate family. Gotcha. Because I thought it was like extended, like people that aren't in your household kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like eventually your dad's not in your household. Sure. You know whether that's because you moved out or because he got milk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like whichever, whatever happened. <laughs> Damn. Or. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fun to take to like a family gathering. Yeah, uh, no, I think that'd be kind of neat. I'm probably most similar to my mom's dad. Mm. I don't think I'm like hardly any of my like extended family. I don't think I'm like any of my family. Are there parts of you that are like your family? Like I don't think I'm like my dad for a lot of things, but there's some things I'm like him. I got nothing. All right. Not when I go like when I'm, I'm thinking like more cousins, <clears throat> aunts, uncles. When I think of that yeah. that category of stuff, no, not really. Like, I have dad jokes, and sometimes my... my... Maybe you both don't <laughs> relate to each other, and that's how you're from... <laughs> right? Yeah. Maybe. That could be it. Yeah. There not relatable. Go. Yeah. Both of us aren't relatable. It could be. All right. Well, thank you. Who sent it? I forget. I Mr. Courier. Yeah, Mr. Courier. Courier. Thank you, Mr. Courier. Well, thank you, Mr. Courier. No. And they, they seem like reasonable questions that I could talk to with my family. Yeah. yeah it's too good right? to know your family better. Yeah. I just wasn't sure how much you wanted to know yeah. about your family. You how I mean? deep it was going to go. Yeah. Yep. All right. Who opened that one? Calvin. That was me. All right. Rick. I will open this one. Rick. This is right from Santa. Santa. Mega Beast Investigator Juice Peon. Yep. That's what it is. Okay. I did not Mega realize Beast. it was going to be like a, a Sentai. When Mega yeah. Beasts are on the loose, the Champion of Justice will investigate. I feel like it's not too hard to like find Godzilla and to be like, I think this city destruction was probably Godzilla. Is that the idea? I don't know, but they look big. Oh, no, there's a mega beast. What could have happened here? <laughs> they do look like. Let me investigate. Like mega fauna. <laughs> mega beast on the loose, the champion of justice will investigate. Hmm. Hmm. And that looks Godzilla. Here, let me see. Yeah, that was kind of. Jespion's parents were killed by space pirates when he was just a baby. He was raised by a space hermit and a scientist named Ejin on a planet with the same name. After learning of the shocking prophecy, Ejin dispatches Jespion on a quest to fight the Mega Beast and defeat Satan Gorth. He travels from planet to planet until... Well, see, there you go. From planet to planet. He's out on one planet. Gotcha. So you might need to do more investigations okay. then, right? Until finally arriving on Earth. Wearing a special suit, he has superhuman powers and a transforming spaceship named the Dalion. Along with his gynoid companion, Anri, and a baby alien creature named Mia, they will try to put an end to Satan Gorth's evil plans. Huh. Damn. Epic. Dun, dun, dun. Just beyond. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. I've never heard of that one, ever. Uh-uh. This is brand new to me. me. I've heard of like VR Troopers, Beetleborgs, Super Sentai, Kamen Rider. I've heard of that one. Jet Jaguar, Spider Man. Spider Man from Japan. Ninja Turtles. Remember Ninja Turtles from Japan, Rick? Huh. Junior Mints. Yes. My favorite movie candy. 
<laughs> and this is for Jancy and some skittles. <laughs> okay, okay cool. I also have some stickers here and this cool holographic Mario, Super Mario notebook, which is sweet. It's got Mario on the back, too. Let's check out what some of the stickers are. Like if they're like Zelda or yeah. Harry Potter or... There's a pin in here that Star says, Wars. this is the way. That's cool. Ooh, that's a Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, some Star Wars stuff. Some Zelda stuff. Really cool. Wow, cool. Twilight Princess Goron. Official art from various Zelda games. Spirit Tracks logo. Ocarina of Time Zelda. There's some great stuff. Thank you so much. That's cool. I never know where to put stickers. That's the thing. Because one, I don't want to put on something and then I feel like I want to take them off. Yeah. Two, I also don't want to waste them. I yeah, like, I don't want to put on something and like, feel like I waste people them. people that are spontaneous. Because if you do that, you'll just never use them. Yeah. It's like me like with resources in video games. <laughs> like, I'm not going to use this. I might need it. And then I end the game with all of that and never use it. Yeah. Like, one thing that Melanie has made fun of me and I've done it since I was little is I will save, I will try to save things sometimes. It's like I would save milk. And I, mean, I know, I don't know what you're thinking. But, like, there'd be... And we're right. Like, living, <laughs> yeah. with, living with the family, like, with kids. Yeah. I'm like, oh, man, there's only this much milk left. Yeah. I don't need milk. I'll leave it for the kids so they have it for cereal or whatever they want, right? So, yeah. like, it's not like I'm taking it and, like, I'm like oh, man, bad, but I'm going to keep it. I'm not doing that. I'm just like, I won't drink it. You're conserving milk. Yeah, and Melanie's like, no, drink it so it goes away or else it might go bad. And I'm like, but maybe the kids need it, you know? Like... I just want it whenever I have, like, cookies or something, usually, because I don't like milk on its own, typically. But, like, when I was younger, I'd have chocolate milk. And I'd be like, well, I don't want to waste all the chocolate milk. I might need, I might want chocolate milk later. You know, I need chocolate milk. So I'd either, like, not have chocolate milk, or I would take white milk, mix it with some chocolate milk, and have a little less chocolatey milk, but enough chocolatey milk to satisfy me at the time. And I would try to save it for as long as I could. But mm. you can't really save milk. Have you ever made the mistake of just adding cocoa powder and not, like, actual chocolate milk powder? Did you ever do that? No. I remember doing that when I was a kid. I, I had so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I either had Nesquik, I think, or Hershey syrup. Gotcha. <laughs> Both of those work pretty well. Yeah. What's this? Two blind a bag. from yeah. Santa. Ah, uh, Pokemon. Pokemon Sun and Moon. This one is number twelve. Twelve. It's also from a library. Oh yeah. Library. Thank you so Wait. much. Ah. Uh -huh. And it's, yeah, it's from Santa. I don't know who it's from exactly. Thank you. But yeah, thank you. Mark. I'll put that with the collection. Better world books. <laughs> Man, good noise. <laughs> Blind wave. From Santa. I, I get worried about his elbows. Sometimes you're like, you know, I'm like, Ugh. yeah. Ooh. Whoa, ah, look at that book. Star Wars, The High Republic. The Eye of Darkness. Dude, is that? Shoot, Eric. Oh, man, what's his name? Let me see. Now is the time for Republic's reckoning. Now is the time we show them just what it means to act against the Nihil. The Nihil. Yeah, what, what was the guy's name from the, the last book we read, I think it was, right? The, he had the... He was like the bad guy. Like oh, he, the head of the Nihil? Yeah, I can't remember what his name was. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I know what it is. I, I know, I know, too. I just... I can't think of it. In terms of a V... An R? Got something row? M-R. Moreau. Mr. Martian Row. Martian Row. Martian. I was getting there. Give me another couple seconds. I might have gotten close to... M-R. I might have Mercutio. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, that's his name. Sweet. It's yeah. Bit. I, I bet that's him right there on the front. Does he Look at have Loden's Yep. Look at that. He has Loden's Yep. Loden's Yep. Slow. Dance. No, don't. <laughs> Slow. <Slow-dance. laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh -huh. G Blonde Way from Michael V. Michael Vutherford. No. <laughs> Michael the Fifth. Michael the Fifth. Uh, Michael the Fifth. I am. Doesn't roll off the tongue. Michael the Fifth. I am. I am. I did something with a lady next door. Something like that. How it goes. I got married to the woman next door. VHS game. It yeah, it's VHS. <laughs> Perfect what? family entertainment. Lucky and Zorba. 
Together, they learn the true meaning of friendship. Hey, I remember that. Yeah. 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 I never heard of that before. Me what? either. You, I, it wasn't just me and Calvin, was it? It must be. No. I've never heard of this. With the cat? Yeah, and the duck. And the, and the, mm -hmm. We talked about this. Well, or the bird, mm -hmm. but yeah. Nope. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I'm positive. Positive. I am wrong. certain. There's at least we've, one we've of them. DVDs. Of Eric, for sure. It wasn't a DVD. It was a poster, maybe? A picture? I thought it was a DVD. Maybe, I don't know. Dear Eric, Rick, Calvin, and Aaron, <laughs> enjoy this very rare VHS tape of Lucky and Zorba in English. If you can find a VHS player to watch this on, I'm sure you'll enjoy watching it from Kristen. Right, That's why I don't think, too, that we got a DVD of it. I think we got, like, an image of some sort. And we're like, why? What is this? Which one's Lucky? Which one's Zorba? Could be. Well, Zorbo promises three things. The Zorba. cat named Zorbo. Zorba. 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 Not. There's no O at the end. Animated fable about learning acceptance and respect for others in spite of their differences. The story opens as Kina, a young seagull, entrusts her egg to a cat named Zorba. Zorba promises three things. That he won't eat the egg. Okay. That he'll take care of it until it hatches. Okay. That he'll teach the baby seagull, Lucky, to fly. Okay. But before Lucky can learn to fly, she must accept her true seagull nature. And the fact that she is not a cat. Mm. While she's learning, she helps her big cat, her cat friends, wage a gallant fight against the dastardly big rat who has marshaled his hordes of rats and mice. He's waiting for his chance to rise up out of the sewers and enslave the cats. I feel like cats shouldn't be losing to rats. There's a lot of rats, though. Dude, we saw a rat. We went to, like, this basketball game thing, and, like, <laughs> in the parking lot of the school was a rat ran over. And it wasn't like it was a mouse. The tail looked like a rat. Like, it yeah. was, like, long and rat-like. Yeah. Rat yeah. And me and Mel were like, holy crap, that looks like a rat. Like, I've seen mice here. I don't think I've ever seen just a rat. Hmm. Huh. It's crazy. It's weird. Get none of those. They, they, could take, they could take a cat. One one strong, well-fed rat can kill a cat. If they if they get buff. <laughs> There's some big There's rats. There's rats here. Give me more pizza! Yeah. Like... <laughs> well, have you heard the, uh... Not the... Obviously, you've heard of the Rat King, which is like a bunch of rats... The ta tail tied, together. like, merged. But there's also... A, it's a terrible concept, but it did work. Of, um... Let's say you Human had a bunch centipede? of... No. <laughs> you had a bunch of rats in your village. So what you would do is you go collect about 10 or 12 rats. You dig a hole. You throw them in there. And eventually... Oh, yes. There's only one rat left. Yeah, because he's killed and eaten the others. And then you do this about ten more times, and eventually you have a rat that is trained to kill other rats. And you release it to the village, and you have no more rats. Well, you have one. Well, it dies eventually. <laughs> <laughs> he's unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. It takes over the yeah. village. <laughs> yeah. Rat stoppable. So <laughs> you've <laughs> bred a rat we serial well, killer? Train him to kill and eat other rats. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess you've trained him that the easiest source of food is other rats. Yeah. You've made a rat serial killer. Yeah. yeah. So like, is the assumption that the rat that wins the first rat fight mm -hmm. will just then win all future rat fights? It, it, it's just trained now that its only source of food is other rats, and it'll just do that. Yeah, the others are like, what the hell's going on? And this guy's like, yeah, nom, 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 yeah. nom, nom. Yep. I can't get out of the hole, huh? Anyway, Merry Christmas. Where, where do you learn this shit? Why are you, why are you, just did you, the internet. Just, what do they do on the Whiteley farm? <laughs> Not that. <laughs> <laughs> we just had cats. <laughs> all right, what's next? Barricades. Okay, this one is from Kristen. Give me like happy stories to tell during this Christmas day. Uh, some. <laughs> we just cut them all out. I don't know why <laughs> Rob got rid of all the good ones. Why is there under hate these good stories? <laughs> all right. This is The Legend of Zelda Monopoly Man, Collector's nice. Edition. Rick, are you a fan of regular Monopoly? I'm not. Well, what about in Hyrule? Maybe. What are the properties? There are, well, there are some Monopoly you games that are. Rupees. There are some Monopoly games that are vastly different from Monopoly. Yeah. With like some of the thematics and stuff that they have. But I can't yeah. hold two hundred rupees. I can only hold a hundred. If you have an adult wallet, you can. You just gotta find uh, yourself you some spiders. Uh, Merry Christmas. Enjoy your Zelda Monopoly board game from Chris. And thank you so much. Include sixty-minute speed play rules. Ooh. So you might like that. That's right? the Majora's Max version. Monopoly can go forever. Yeah. Usually, I think we would play Monopoly and everyone would just stop playing. Really cool. Or hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> just last night, Carmen thought back to a game of Monopoly that her and I played like two years ago. 
and I was winning and I offered her a trade deal for a property and the property that she had would give me one monopoly and in return she wanted an entire one of my monopolies and another property that would give her two monopolies. Sounds like I've tried to trade and said five. I will say two and people. She thinks she's convinced that it's a that it was a good deal because it would have given me one side of the board, one whole side. Yeah, but it would have given her like two full property groups. Yeah, two one full different monopolies. sides of the board. Yeah, uh, I, I think playing monopoly with and two I think people, I had to give her like it's really. Like eighteen hundred dollars. Deals don't happen very like often that. between just two people, you know. Yeah. It's like, no, I want to win. This needs to benefit me. He's like, no. <laughs> like, how do you do it? You just need to get lucky on them landing on your property, and then like, now what you gonna do? Deals are best made when neither party is fully happy with the deal, right? I guess, yeah. Because then they both got something, but they didn't get too much to where they're completely satisfied. Okay, I'll punch you in the face if you punch me in the dick. <laughs> Neither of us will be happy. Deal? <laughs> no, it's the game of capitalism. You want like 50 people playing, and that way one person gets her about his money, and then it feels like real life. It's like the rats. <laughs> it's like the rats, yeah. It's like the rats. One person will be rat king. <laughs> well, cool. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank yes. You. We, uh, we spent the rest of the game haggling about that deal and like making little changes and stuff. We never agreed to make the deal, so... We both forfeited and let her sister win. <laughs> oh, there's another person playing too? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. What is this? That looks Ages 10 plus amazing. 2 to 4, a strategy game. Godzilla. Nice. Whoa. We've actually gotten that before. Yeah. You, just got, you got Godzilla, you got Ghidorah, you got Mothra, and you got this Beetlehead dude. Hmm. That's a little Tokyo Clash. I don't know what his name Welcome. is. Welcome. Is that... I'm gonna assume his name is like Megalon or something. Megalon is in that game. With no reason for me get I just random guess. <laughs> just I random just made guess. that up. Yeah. It's not it's not because this top Shut up, Callie! Says, Choose from I'll make you a deal, I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and you stop talking. Right, I don't know what's any further. <laughs> Choose from four iconic movie kaiju. Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Mothra, or Megalon. And prepare for maximum mayhem. It's a good Godzilla game. Sounds cool. It is? It does look cool. Go for the throat! Bellowing roar. I to play it with Jake. Agility! I wonder who he'd want to be. Plays in scales. I'd have to be one of these two. Because if yeah. I play with Jake, then I'd have to play with Dababa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know who they would take, I think. Yep. Well, yeah. Either of these two characters, these other characters have ganged up against. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. expect that as well. Yeah, right. <laughs> I guess They I would will... play canon rules. <laughs> who wants to be king? Yeah, that's a great box cover. It really is. Make sure we show it in the close-up, too. I don't know who it's from. It was from Santa. So thank you, Santa. <clears throat> I just recently watched King of the Monsters. I had a lot of fun watching it. Hmm. Been a long time since I've seen it. I, I haven't seen it since the theater, and I remember being very tired at one point and kind of like waking up and being like, oh, shit, I missed a lot. No. <laughs> Eric, that was Civil War. No, that happened then, too. <laughs> <laughs> that happened then too. He will never live that down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I right. woke up and right. Black Panther was ah. introduced and I had no idea where he came from. <laughs> <laughs> he was just chasing the car. You're like, this movie doesn't make any sense. <laughs> hey, how was editing back then? Two blind waves <laughs> from sleep time. Cody Jones. Cody Jones. I, want, I think one of my favorite things too is like when it got to the end, it started playing um, Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, that's cool. I like that they use this in the credits. Did the Wookiee wake you up, Eric? No. No. We have lots of Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Aw, oh, cool. One, two. Why is it? Why'd you flip it? Why did he flip it? Why did you flip it? Because the, the number isn't where it should be. Calvin. Three, four, five. see? Calvin. All the others are on this side, and this one is on this side. Is this is why. Pokemon sucks. <laughs> Take your shit. Well, my question though is, how does this happen? And your solution is just to flip the whole book over. Because I thought, I thought it was like, oh, it's just the same thing on the back, but the number is always towards the the leaf of the pages of the book and not towards the spine. Do you know this could have a reason that the two's on this side with like the way some of these characters are? 
Like, do you know that, like, her main, like, lead ace Pokemon, like, changes itself, like, back and forth? So, like, maybe it's there as, like, symbolism for that, which is great for Pokemon. Ditto? No, not Ditto. More Peko. More Peko looks like a Pikachu, but it changes from, like, electric to, like, dark, and it changes the <laughs> color scheme, like, back and forth. It's really good. Another yeah. white switch. He's a little angry and he eats. He's funny. Yeah. So... It could be a really neat idea, Calvin, but you mock well, it without understanding. I don't care. This is why aliens <laughs> will never come and visit Earth, Calvin, because of you. Yep. No. Why are you different? You start punching them Pokemon or flipping them over. Space, Calvin. You started mocking me huh? for flipping it over. Yeah. That's why aliens will never come here. Flip-pendo. You should know better. Flipendo! If you That's the your... one you ripped open! <laughs> you can't tell that that's empty? If you throw it behind you, all the trash will be hidden. I guess I do this one. <laughs> if I, if I oh, I'm walking alongside the road, it's like, aw, a cute raccoon, <laughs> and it's empty. <laughs> I'm not like, oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> Too bad, wait. Like the raccoon is empty? <laughs> yeah. Like eaten? Because he's roadkill. Leewick. <gasps> Leewick. Leewick. Okay, cut this one open, too. No, just... Pull the ribbon, Rick. Right? Can't. It's, it's not. Rick, it's oh, just, just pull the straight it's right string. Th- it's right there. Yeah, no, what are you doing, Eric? Strings, Why? What if you pass it, Eric? We're good. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's candy. Oh. Good. Reese's popcorn. Ooh. Popcorn. Is your. The notes on top. Did I read the note on top? Yes. Okay. Merry Christmas, Blind Wave. Hope you are enjoying the holidays as of 2023 closes its book. Then the book of 2024 opens up. I went shopping for gifts. I came up for the best gift to match each of you guys. Okay. All right. I'm interested. Who gets the popcorn? Uh, Uh, The floor. uh, Calvin gets the Reese's Peanut Butter Popcorn. Oh! Because Eric gets the giant Reese's Peanut Butter Popcorn. No! (laughs) We'll pull it out and we'll take it. Yeah, I don't know who gets these, but they're My Hero Academia mystery Dibs. posters. Dibs. Oh, that's cool. Yay. Is it because you saw what else was in there? Why you, get, why you get both? Dibs. Uh, this M&M popcorn is for Eric. Dibs. Why does he get everything? Yes. You don't have to dibs what's already yours, Eric. Dibs. I want the My Hero poster. Ooh, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> this is caramel, apple, soft caramel, Wathers Originals. Oh, that's... That's you, That's what that is. That sounds good. That's all you. Eric, you're not going to see what the poster is? And you're going to look at your card? There's ten different ones. I got distracted with the popcorn. Damn it, Eric. All right, this is um, a my a Sonic blanket. My Sonic blanket? Which is awesome. That's for me. I love Wait. this. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Uh, this is my first one. I didn't realize there was two. Oh, nice. Aaron, you get um, the cookie dough. Ooh! Twix and Snickers. Twix and Those Snickers? Those are cool. I get melon Snickers. I and I it. assume the M&M as well. Oh. Damn. Guessing. I like, I like cookie dough stuff. This is the second. Good. Look at this one. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, uh, I like this? Eric's second, too. What's your second? I'm working on it. Aaron, what's your second? I'm working on it. Oh, that's cool. Look at that, Eric. I like that one, too. I don't know what this is or who it goes to. It's a blankie. Nice. Uh, it's a towel. And I'm going to say from the art, it looks... Um, mm. Only way to know yeah, it, though. Aaron, this limited My Hero t-shirt is for you. Ooh, neato. Limited. Here's more cookie dough. Wow, I get all Damn. the cookie dough? Wow! That's so many! This is a great Christmas. This, this is, is not fair at all. <laughs> Riot. Oh, wait, no. Um, the Snickers cookie dough is for Calvin. Yeah, that's Flex the one that I said I, I, it looked at best. That's not written. He made that up. I see it now. <laughs> he can't read with those. There is a Darth Vader mini Aaron. waffle maker. <gasps> mini waffles? Mini waffle maker. Which is for Calvin. How many? What? And there's as many a large as you can. waffle maker for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the large one's for Eric. Make it I don't think this one is to anyone in particular. Look, this oh, is look at the Heroes, gravity. Eravity. That's oh, that's cool. a cool figure. I like it. Very cool. Picasso. I knew it. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Sailor Moon. Keyblade. Uh, this is oh, for Eric. A keyblade for show. Imperial Troop Transport. Oh, yeah, the squadrons. Look. That's cool. 
I've started collecting the squadron stuff. Oh, cool! I said it looked Keyblade-ish, cool. but I wasn't sure. So, like, I never heard you say Keyblade. Oh. I didn't get to look the at camera. it. The camera. This is my cool. It's all Keyblades, too. That's neat. Yeah. Nice. All I saw was this. This is all I saw. <laughs> Damn it, Adam! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were moving the towel to there. <laughs> this must be for Baba. Oh, Taylor Swift. I think it's for, it's for me. me. It could be for you. There's two of them. Ah, <coughs> cool. Those so maybe out. for Baba and Nancy? Uh, let's see. Maybe there's stuff for. Yes, okay. There's stuff for Baba and Jake. Uh, this is also for Baba, which I'm jealous. Sailor Moon puzzle. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Nice. Damn. Da, 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 da. And finally. Uh, we... okay. Ah, more waiters. Yes. Waiters. Waiters. Yeah, there's an R in there. Where there's a region. Oh, that guy showed off there. Yes, yeah, Ravity. Oh, this is a big thing. Oh, no. My hero. Whoa. Is it shoes? It's a loot box. Yeah, it's got ah. a blanket or a towel. This towel's so cool, we would be the coolest. Got a headband. Person at the Cool. Beach. Look at that. Ah. Ugh. The sleeping bag Aizawa plushie. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. burritoed up. There's Izuku Midoriya. Ah, uh, nice. Young Midoriya. It's a pint glass. Dark work, nice. Yep. Oh, yeah, it is a pint glass. I'm gonna say, what what does it look like? There's just two different figures on it. Vinyl decal. Yeah. Bakugo oh. pin. Nice. And the principal Ooh. figure. Nice. Nezu. Very nice. Very cool. Say there's something for Jake? Uh, okay. uh, the Godzilla board game. Oh. oh! That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Dang. Hope you like the gifts and the snacks. Merry Christmas, fellow Wave Rider Leewick175, a.k.a. Santa Lee. Santa yes. Lee. Sorry in advance, Calvin and Rick. I couldn't find the best match gift for you guys, but I have a collector's box and posters as backups. Mm. I really like the blanket. Mm -hmm. Who's doing the jumping thing? And presents for Baba and Jake. Yeah. Well, thank you, Leewick. Thank, thank you, you so much. Leewick. It's really cool. Appreciate this cookie dough. Yeah. Dough, dough. Yeah. Okay. One from Kristen. Like sour apple, caramel apple flavor. I used to love when I was a kid and I kind of grew out of it. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if I like this. That's sour apple? Sour mm. caramel apple. <gasps> we can oh. by our fish. Yes. Whoa, cool. Jellyfish. Can we put the jellyfish in the big one? No. Or does it have to be in that one? I don't know. Here, give it to us. Let's open it. Oh. What you got? Oh. Uh, I was just holding it. So it didn't you know out, what? Right? You might be able to toss these in just with I the fish. So. You know? Just have some, have some fish taken on the jellies. <laughs> yeah, but this much travel size. <laughs> You could put some fish in that. Put some little fishies in there. Oh, this one bubbles and glows too. Yeah. Maybe maybe we put a couple of the fish because they're they kind of get clogged up in the big that? tube. Uh, this is to retrieve said jellies. Yes. Put this one on top oh. of the other one, and we'll just start stacking them. Yeah. So we have one long tube. Bag of jellies. Of yeah. Fake marine life. Oh, you have the lid. I was like, where'd yeah. the lid go? It started to go down in, so I grabbed it. Cool. This is cool. Very and it has cool. buttons on the front too. Looks surprised. <laughs> Sweet, thank you. Was this Kristen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, Kristen. Thank you. Yeah, I won't put the jellies in with the fish. I think it'd be sweet. If this doesn't make a whole lot of noise, maybe we can put it on a set. Like behind? Yeah. With little fishies in it? Yeah, and, and jellies. Maybe. Jelly. Fishy jellies. One jelly, three, two fishies. Maybe. This one says Jake. It does. Is it woven? Let's see what it is. <laughs> This is from Kristen, I believe. Let me make sure. Yeah, Kristen. And it is a... Hold the bag. Uh, 
It's a toaster. Holy shit! What? It's right. a four slice toaster. Yeah. <laughs> but it's got like a digital front or something. Yeah. Weird. Oh Monique. man, if you could actually time it, like if you could set the temperature toaster. and the time mm -hmm. digitally, that would be great. Because the worst thing is having the dial that like four Ten. is too like brown and five is just totally burnt. Yep. Or, or four is like not yep. not toasted enough, right? I, I thought you were like setting the time on a toaster. I'm like, I've never had a timer, like a time. Like my is telling the time, not toaster. Sure, but like if you could hear, because it says there's a setting on here that's 30 seconds longer. So you must be able to set how, like the duration and then the temperature, right? I guess, I don't know. We'll have to open it and find out. Yeah. I like to make toast. Touch screen. I can butter my toast panels. and then put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure this guy's good. toast. This guy's toast. Thank you so much, Kristen. Thank we'll you. put this next to the the hot chocolate maker. That we use exclusively for hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I That's make what I use it for. <laughs> I make coffee in it. Plenty of time. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. I will open this a gift. To Jake. Aha! Uh -huh. Is it a Godzilla board game? Godzilla Monopoly! <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> it is, in the strictest sense. Mm. Monster edition. Hey, wait, what are the pieces? Uh, Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Mothra, Manila, Manila, Godzilla, <laughs> and Rodan. That's funny, they put Manila in there. I wonder how this one works. Can't imagine Godzilla just spending money. Um, there's a jail. You can put Godzilla in jail. <laughs> yeah. You bankrupt him, he just goes back into the water. <laughs> it looks like weapons or some kind of ships are the railroads. But, like, the beginning area is Lechi Island and Iwato Island. And then different right. locations, lakes, islands, bases, underground layers. We're Zillions. gonna need a bigger jail. Oh, the zillions come and take two hundred dollars from you. <laughs> yeah, they like find you or some shit. Monster Island and Infant Island are the the main ones. There's UNGCC to draw from and Godzilla Tower to draw from. Hmm. Huh. All right. Well, put that back in the bag and we'll give it to Jake. Give it to Jake. What does it say on the thing? Two blind way from Kristen. 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 Is this like a another fish a TV? <laughs> Just the author of DU Hockey Show. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> please, please watch my stuff. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It is a computer desk. What? A desk? Yep. Enjoy your new desk table from Kristen. <sighs> a new table. Yes. A new table. I love tables. A mini table. Maybe it's for you, Eric. I wonder what it looks like. Ah! Real picture. This is what it looks Rick, what have you done? Afraid of opening and losing pieces. Here, there's a QR code right there. Maybe it'll have instructions. What it looks like. It looks like you're on TikTok pretending to be a woman. <laughs> you know how they like have a towel draped over their head to pretend to be like long hair? No. Or, like have ribbon or I'm anything? I haven't seen that, no. No? Okay. 32 inch small computer desk study table. Study table? Yeah, it looks like this. Cool. Nice. It's a nice looking table. Yeah, it's a nice looking table. Very cool. Well, well, thank you. Thank you, Kristen. So this must be a table for the coffee maker and the toaster. <laughs> is that what it is? And the waffle iron. Yeah. Ah. Huh. Well, thank you. We'll have to set it. Put it somewhere. Over here. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Two blind wave from Benjamin Bangarang. 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 Alright. Oh, it's a framed something. Nice frame. It's a very nice frame. Whoa! Cool! What is that? It's from Dagobah. Whoa! Oh, neat! And on the back here it says Certificate of Authenticity. It's a painting. This is hereby certified as a genuine Thomas Kincaid Studios product. Hmm. Very That's cool. Sweet. So Thomas T uh, Kincaid. Dude, we should hang that up. Absolutely. Fuck yeah, we should. Beautiful. 
What? Put that in front of that camera. You can really see the detail. Oh, gorgeous! So good. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you yeah. so much, Benjamin. Merry Christmas. I can't. Right. I can't do that good. <laughs> I can't see the numbers when they're that small. <laughs> Take my numbers. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, say. Where should we put this? What's it say on the front? Somewhere safe. I give it to you. It says Star, Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> In case we didn't know. It does. Ah, uh, that's great. I'll put it on this table over here. Yeah, yeah. do that. Or, no, build the table. Broken. Put all that. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Let's all do one of these. So these are left in this bag so that we knew it was all from Anderson. Anderson, okay. 80s Ant. This one's mine. This one will be yours. And they all look like they're different things. I'll pass these down. So I got a cookie mold of Pokemon. A cookie cool. mold. Cookie mold. Oh, uh, cool. And oh. this. An enamel pin. That one's actually really cool. Oh, Green like shirt with gym badges gym on badges. it. Yeah, nice. that's neat. And yeah, oh, on this is an enamel pin which has a Bulbasaur and a Game Boy. That's nice. that's, that's a really cool enamel. Yeah, pin. I, I like, like that. that. It's sweet. All right. Okay, good. I was like, "Where's Bulbasaur?" Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. All right. Ooh. Whoa, that's cool. Okay. It's, it's an autographed picture of Tom Baker, the fourth yes. doctor. Oh, this is really fucking cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Thank you. And this. Did he, have Did he, have his, he has his pants. He does have his pants. Yeah. You can see him. Yeah, I can see him. <laughs> and also, a red dwarf sweater. Nice. Oh. Merry so smegging Christmas. Beautiful. Merry smegging. Okay. Yep. We right. should watch Red Dwarf sometime. It's very good. It's up to a point. I'm down. Yeah. Up up to a certain point. Everybody knows what point it is. <laughs> it's when the original creator left. And <laughs> we tried to keep it going. It didn't go so well. Gotcha. Okay. But it is so it's, funny. It's, it's like his favorite show. Hilarious. Thank you so much. On to you. On to me. Pop Trump's Guide to Anime Movies. What? Huh? Okay. Interesting. How's it, um, how's it work? I don't know. So these are like the, the top Trump cards, okay. right? Huh? These are like the top Trump card things? I think so. They look like playing cards. I don't always watch anime. Sometimes I eat and sleep, and once I left my room. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. Perfect. Perfect. Well, thank you. Once I left my room. I got ooh Cobb Vanth Black Series from the Mandalorian. Ooh. Sweet. In Boba's armor. Very cool. Very, very cool. I can see him. You can see him. You can see him. And... <laughs> so sour about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. Vader walking in at, -AT. <laughs> That's so fake. Did he grow or did it shrink? Yes. The scale's all wrong. Yes. No, this is a prototype. It's That's a baby at, -AT yeah. okay? It's, it's growing. to make sure it can function. It has a, to grow up. It's a cat droid. It's actually, it's one of those little robot things that you control with that, and it looks like you're walking it, but really yeah. you're controlling it. How slow does it go? Like, is Vader really, is he really walking? Or is he like... Uh, I think it goes probably faster. Right? The ones go really slow because they're really big. That one's small. Probably I don't think so. I don't think they go really the slow. The chicken walkers are faster than the ATSTs, and the <laughs> ATSTs are faster than the ATATs. So yeah, the smaller it is, the quicker it goes. We know what you meant. What are those? Ninja cards. I can't remember what they're the top called. Top cards, but they're also like little fat cards about anime movies. That's sweet. Fat cool. or fact? Fact. fact. For like the little, anime. the little fat cards. I'm like, what's that mean? We've seen a number of these. Choji, Yajirobe. I want to know why. Anime and fat anime characters. Fat gum. Thank you. Yeah, that one was right there. Oh, sometimes. Uh, just fat. Yeah, Ruby never like. Oh no, I ran out of fat. Uh, what about Choji's dad? He's big. Too long. Is Popo fat? fat? Or is he just a pig? Is Mr. Popo fat? He's round. He's round. I don't know. What, what do you dictate as fat? I don't know 
any other examples of him. Maybe that's what they always look like, and thus mm. none of them are fat. They're all normal. So you're like, because of, is he a species? I don't know. What is he? Like a genie? What is Mr. Like Popo? a racist genie? Um, like Rookie he grants Crusher. you racist wishes, or yeah. he himself is racist? I don't know. <sighs> all right. There's one more, I think. I think this is the last one. Okay. Which is wrapped in ridiculous paper. Oh, look at the flamingo. I hate it. Do this at Christmas or any time. Ah. All right. Um, it's a U-Haul truck. This could be upside down, maybe. Do you think it matters? Uh, it was wrapped this way. So I'm gonna say this is the top. Yeah, but maybe it was a mistake. All right, we'll just open it from here, I guess. Ah. 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 Thank you for the service, Cowboy. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Green. Green. Red. Red. Purple. Yeah, where's the blue? Fuck at it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what we got? We got some of these big old fleece throw with sleeves. No, oh. it's a robe. <gasps> it's a robe yeah. for yeah. life day. Yeah, it is. It totally is. Wow. We're wearing these for Badonka Dog today, Aaron. We should. <laughs> we yeah, should. This is perfect timing. Yeah. Blind Wave Xmas. It says Life Day on it. Life Day. It's officially it's licensed. It's officially. It's officially Life Day. They actually acknowledged it. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. None of it has any names. Maybe I'll open this first okay. just to see what it says. <laughs> it says Blind Wave Xmas. Sweet. Oh my. All right. Effectively, a snuggie. It is. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> so I'm like, okay. It's written. I think you're supposed to put it on so that's in the front. Yeah, I think it goes the other way. Huh? No. And technically, it's you have a bat one backwards. I'm pretty sure. But the robe's a snuggie. I think snuggie. Yeah. I know, but I'm trying <laughs> to cosplay. Well, Eric, you put it on. Show how you do it. Look at this. Right? Yeah, but backwards. Here's a note. But I was like, wait, this doesn't work, work right. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, pull. Oh, pull. that's a pull. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh. So let's see it's what this It's a lightsaber. Note. Let's see what it has. Awesome. Yeah. That's Shh. cool. All right, so let's, let's see what it has to say. A note. Hey, guys. I know it's been quite some time, but I haven't forgotten about my best buds on the internet. I'll spare you all the slow, monotonous details of my life. If you really want to know about that, I'll tell you next time we meet up in person. When is that next WaveCon again? 2027? <laughs> it's in 2024, it as is. we announced uh, like a week or two ago. Yeah. Or three ago. Before Sometime. you time. Bef <laughs> not so, not before you sent this. Who's the egg on her face now, huh? <laughs> but yeah, the mailman. So hopefully uh, hopefully you'll, you got that and you'll be able to check it out. We'll yeah. have more information coming here in 2024 mm -hmm. as we can get more details out to you guys. But at least now, there's a date, August. Look at that. Fourth-ish. I forget exactly the date, but it's there. It's on the Twitter and social medias and stuff. So look there. Look at our community page. You look dumb. I am so... This is Life Day on the front! <laughs> I know. I'm so comfy. But it should be the back. <sighs> All right. I get life happens. The only constant is change. Only thing you can do is learn how to ride that wave better. Now, on to the good stuff. I still watch... Have an e epic day! A fair amount of content, <laughs> time permitting, of course, and you guys in all your journey uh, have covered or are covering all of Star Wars books, movies, TV shows, even the special Life Day. But there is one thing lacking. You walk movies. You walk movies. One Boys. key missing piece to making Calvin's Quest and the viewers happy. The long forgotten, twice removed, no, two two times twice removed. <laughs> two Ewok movies! Yes. Ewok movies! Maybe next year we'll get that Christmas miracle. In the meantime, hope you are all well. Rick, we're here for you, my friend. I just try to take this life one day at a time myself. And who knows? Maybe I might see you in Japan. Never been to Celebration. Never been to Japan. But experiencing them both while seeing friends might be fun. Who knows what the future brings... All we can do is the best to make opportunities happen. Your friend, Benjamin Bangerang. Oh, awesome. Benjamin. 
Thank, Thank you, you, Benjamin. The Life Day. These yes. are so comfy. These so are, comfy. These are legit. Like, like straight up nap on this Christmas morning. All right, awesome. We'll pass that one down over to Eric. Eric. Ugh. Careful, oh, Rick. Rick. Pass it over to Rick. Rick, don't be careful. Yeah, pass this over to Calvin. Calvin. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Calvin. I'll open this oh, one, Calvin. Calvin. <laughs> it's the talking Chewbacca. Ah! <laughs> the terrifying thing. <laughs> Yay! It's like the book, man. Yeah, it does. Ooh. This mouth goes up and down as you talk. Huh. I got Star Wars Force Awakens. It's, it's true. All of it. The blockbuster movie jumps from the big screen to the comic book page. Nice. This is a comic book on it. Did you hear what I had? Did you hear what he has to say? <laughs> Mine's so the best quiet. so far. Mine is Star Wars Life Day Treasury <laughs> Holiday <laughs> Stories from a Galaxy Far, Far Away. Wow. Look at the back. I'm, Yay! I'm, I'm glad I gave that one to you, Rick. <laughs> I think you appreciate it the most. Hey, you like that one? Read it while you, want, you, you guys fall asleep. Or I'll give it to Calvin. Calvin can open it. Okay. Is it because it has tape? Ah. Here, Rick, you want another one? Then I need to read the book to you guys. It's oh, it's another Wookiee mask. <laughs> well, I mean, we have yes. Now the, 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 the we have the robes. Is this not for children? We'll see. We'll make it fit. Star Wars Life Day graphic novel. Oh, wow, that looks so good. Eric, look at that. That is nuts. How are they yeah. allowed to do this? <laughs> How are they allowed to do this? Who's gonna stop? George doesn't know it anymore. See, all the people that complain about Star Wars now, I don't think you ever watched Life. Really. That's all we're holiday special. Nope. <laughs> they know how bad it could get. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> beard makes it. Oh my gosh, the beard right. really does. Eric, I guess we know how Badonka Gong's opening up, huh? You have to. It is made for a much younger face. Just do the whole podcast like that. Make it like the holiday special. Just you can't understand anything we say. Yep. All right, guys, let's talk about this book. <laughs> Are they talking about the book? Uh, sure. But the user oh, manual. Gonk just beeping. <laughs> what are you gonna do when we go upstairs and we're just dressed in life day robes and Wookiee masks, walking out to? <laughs> Jake and Dababa. Jake, Dababa, Lessa, whoever's, whoever's still here. Oh, let me see what this is. <coughs> oh, hot dang. We got some hot sauce. Yeah. 25 pack of hot sauce. Sweet. Flavors of the world. And we got... <laughs> this paper yarn is the worst. Yeah, right? Did you open this final? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so entertained. Uh, and we got. Whoa! We got Snowman, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, three PO, and R two D two. How about that? That's sweet. Put these around for the holiday. Yeah. All right, I gotta get my very cool. We have joined the cult. <laughs> we are now part of the tribe. For millennia, Life Day was a festival celebrated by the Wookiees on the planet Kashyyyk. It was centered on the fabled Tree of Life, thought by the Wookiees to be the source of all life, both of their lush green world and the stars beyond. At its heart, the festival celebrated the core truths of Wookiee civilization, family, love, and happiness. 